So guys, welcome back to Hellstorm Wargaming, YouTube edition. Yeah. I'm in my new Hellstorm pyjamas and everything. Very nice. It's green, Neil. It's it's red and green. I wonder why that is. I don't know. It's got red sleeves. <laughs> it's finally here. It's not November. Yeah. It's not October. That it's doesn't quite have the same ring to it when you're sort of like, my knocks are finally out. Um, wait, what? No. <laughs> it's getting a bit rude now, Mr. GW. You said it was October. It's now November and we finally got the book. <sighs> We're not all lucky enough to get them a week early and still count it as October. Three days. Three days. Three whole days late. But it's here. But it's finally here. We've got it and uh, Billy's not here. No. Billy's the resident orc player. No, I had to beat him to death with it. Oh, okay, no worries. That's why it took three days. In, in the true war boss style. Yeah, that's why it took three days to arrive because we're yeah. beating Billy up. So now we do have a brand new, brand new orc army. Yes, mm. with special thanks as well. With special thanks, yes. Because it was somebody's pride and joy. Yeah, so thank you to James, absolute legend. He's let us take ownership of the Orc Army. For now. Mm. Indefinitely. So, thank you very much for that, mate. Yeah. Uh, it is a beautiful, humongous Orc Army. With lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. With awesome conversions, all ready painted, ready to go. Yeah. So we couldn't ask for much more, so thank you very much. Yeah, and there's a, there's a lot of variety in there as well. Mm. Not necessarily any of the new stuff, because it's a fairly... Probably... He's, awake, he's waking at it for a few years, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been going at it since about 5th, Ed. Yeah. yeah, so there's quite with quite a lot to play with. So hopefully we're gonna have orcs on the channel quite a lot now. Oh, we've yeah. had this army for a couple of months. Mm. We've been kind of, you've been like mm, we need to play it, and I've been like hold your horses, my friend. We'll wait for the codex, and yeah. then and then four months went by. Today we are we are previewing, showing you. You know, you can buy this on the shelf today if you want to, should you wish. Um, we Which are, you will. If, if you're an old player, I mean, I'd be surprised if you didn't. If you're not, you should be. Yeah, so a brand new codex to show off. So let's not mess about anymore. We're very serious, don't forget. Let's get awkward with this. Let's get on with it. Guys, <laughs> it's a time of mork. Bork. <sighs> Bloody early. Bork. Well, Wait, who knows? Which one? Which one do you fancy? Brutal but cunning, or cunning but brutal? Can I be brutal but brutal? Or cunning but cunning? I don't think that's how they play. Ah, but that's the cunning part. Maybe. So, we have 1750 points of orcs for the first time on the channel. A brand new army. It looks pretty sweet. It does. We got, we got lots and lots. This isn't even half of it. This isn't even a quarter of it. <laughs> Mikey wouldn't let me play a like a 3000 point game today. I'm looking over at the shelf to see it. Maybe, yeah, it might be like a. Th I reckon it's. Yeah, it's probably about a quarter. There's, there's still boxes. We got boxes still. Unopened boxes. Open boxes. Well, they're open, but they've still got stuff in them. Yeah, P built stuff. We mean. However, today we have a crap ton of stuff, but not as much as you could do. Ox, 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 ox. We haven't spammed boys because we haven't got all day. No. Um, <laughs> So, Neil, would you like to talk me through the orcs? If you've got a few hours. Mm, right then. Listening. So today, keeping it simple, just for mass command points, we've got two battalions, mm -hmm. that's it. So, first battalion is going to be led by Da Warlord. Yeah. Yet to be named. Um, and it is all bad moons. Everything is bad moons today. We are using bad moons. Yeah, so, that, so bad moons lets you reroll once to hit in the shooting phase. Yes. As well as getting some cool stratagem to shoot twice. Some cool relics like a super flamer. Yep, so he has got basically got the Bad Moon's Warlord trait, which mm -hmm. gives him a four from Vulnerable Save because mm -hmm. he's got the best armor. Very clearly. He has got the God Shot Blunderbuss. Something which like that. Is basically, it replaces Custom Shooter for uh, the Bad Moon's Relic gun. Essentially, yeah. a two shot heavy flamer at 12 inch range. Is it two shot or is it 2d6? 2d6 shot. Yeah. Yeah, so it's 2d6 shot at 12 inch range. Yeah. Auto H, turn 5 minus 1, which is really good. As it's not a flamer, it's just a whacking great cannon. Yeah. Uh, he's backed up with a uh, big mech with a shock attack gun. 
Because, very cool model. Because very, if very you've cool. got it, you're going to use it. Yeah. We've got it. We're going to use it. It's got a Hoover. Yeah. It fires grots. I mean, what's not cool about that? This is it. It's got a grot sucker and a got grot projector. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's like a leaf blower and a Hoover at the same, a vacuum at the same time. It's, yeah. It's like with a some it's magic like a through stuff. pipe. Yeah, exactly. With some gubbins in the middle. Yes. Okay. Right. So that's the two HQs for the main battalion. Mm-hmm. And we've then got three units of boys. So we've got a big blob of 20. Mm -hmm. So 19 boys plus a knob. Knob's got a uh, power claw. They've all got sluggers and choppers and the boys. They're going to be riding in a battle wagon, which has got three big shooters and a kill cannon. Mm -hmm. And an armoured case, hard case. Yeah. A lid. A lid, yeah. And we've got <laughs> two more troops. These two are the same. So yeah. they're 12 man size or 12 orc size. Uh, these are shooter boys. Each unit's got a, a big shooter in each. Yeah. And each knob has got power claw because knobs have power claws. I mean, why would you not? And they are both riding in trucks. 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 So we've got like an, a, tra a traditional truck. We've got a cool converted truck. We've got a, an Orc V. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we've then got, in the Elite's Choice, we've got a unit 10 burners. Mm. And they are riding in style because we're bad moons. Yeah. In the Chinny Orc. Which Chin is Chinny Orc. Chinny Orc, which is the <laughs> Forge World Special. Yeah. So this has got a big shooter on the front, and mm -hmm. it's got the two, I, I want to say, Kill Blaster cannons. Thanks for that, Neil. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically not, not the death guns, it's got the up gunned ones, the nicer. It's a flying thingy -ma -bob. It's a, yeah. Basically, it's a, it's a flying a, thingy -ma -bob. It's Chinny Orc. Yeah. What else do you want? It's a it's a death copter with more bits on it. It's got a bit, yeah. It's, it's two it's death clearly, copters that have crashed it's into each other. Clearly a death copter, front, which is just and great. not hit the floor. They're still yeah. flying, and some yeah. boys have jumped on it. But, which is surprising know, because I, that's balanced precarious on that flight stand. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly enough, uh, since we're not preview, well, we're kind of kind of previewing the book, but not really. So uh, yesterday, Fordrold released an FAQ, gave it daka daka daka. Mm. So everything, including the four drill mm. units, have daka daka daka. Now. <laughs> it's an interesting point. <laughs> As you were, Neil. So then we've got another battle wagon. Yeah. With four big shooters. In fact, this is, this is a not, battle, this not, is battle not wagon. a battle wagon because they are different date sheets now. This is a skull crusher, bone crusher, bone crusher, Wait, no, skull no, and bone. Filth. But you'd have to, you'd have we to don't differentiate discriminate. between bones. We don't you discriminate can, against. It the, could be uh, a femur like. crusher. You know, it could be a tibia crusher. We could. We don't discriminate. Not, we don't discriminate here at Hellstone. Bone, bones are bones, bro. <laughs> so we got a tibia crusher with four big shooters. Mm -hmm. That is going to be the school bus, being that it's yellow, that's right, <laughs> for a mob of ten knobs. Very nice. Uh, six of them have got big choppers. Six of them. Six of them. Dem. We, still, we don't say them anymore, it's dem. I've got me, got me. Orcs, I've got shirt. me Oak Storm shirt on. Yeah. Uh, and one of them's got a power claw. Very nice. Okay. Because he's the knob of the knobs. He's the knobbiest knob. He's the knobbiest. He's the hobnobbiest knob of the knobs. So he's got the power claw. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, and then we've got a daka 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 jet jet daka daka jet jet daka with six super shooters and extra <laughs> propellers, not bombs. <laughs> extra <Yeah>. propellers. <laughs> And that is then rounded off with the second battalion, mm -hmm. which just for extra CP. Basically, extra CP. Yeah. Is another war boss who's pretty stock. He's got the power claw and he's got the uh, the slugger. Mm -hmm. And there is a weird boy in there. Very nice. Who again is stock. He's gonna have. It was warpath. It's warpath. And then he used the stratagem. I'm using the stratagem to make him a warped. Yeah. And he's gonna basically have... gives him another power for one yeah. CP. So he starts with twelve CP at the end. And he's going to take a headbanger. Head banger. Mm. He's going to stick some nut on someone. Yeah. And that troops rounded up is basically three units of ten grots because we got. How many points of ten grots? So like thirty points. Yeah. Yeah, it's touching on Imperial Guard battalion there, really. Except for the characters, it's not far away. Yeah. Um, and that comes in at seventeen forty nine. Very nice. Very nice. So. I said we've not played orcs before in eighth edition. We've played I them. I played orcs back in the Probably day. Probably played orcs when the yeah. original Armageddon Codex came out. Yeah. Billy is our war for the Armageddon. Yeah, Billy is our traditional orc player, but we have a brand new orc army, uh, which isn't Billy's, and Billy's busy. So mm. 
he hasn't even finished painting, but hopefully he'll be on the channel soon uh, with his with his freshly painted orc army. But however, we have this awesome one, which is yet to be named because we're using it as bad moons. And there's a bit of bad moon stuff, but it's a bit of a mixture, isn't it? Yeah, the army's pretty much painted a mixture of a lot of yellow, a mm. lot of yellow, yeah. a lot of red, a lot, lot of red. The, a lot of the bikes and the death copters and all that lot. And are all red. red. The fast bits are all red. Yeah. And then there's quite a bit of blue in there as well for blood axes. Mm. So if you've got any ideas how, what you want to call it, what shall we call it as our uh, culmination of orcs? As our generoc. Generoc. Yes. And then uh, post in the comments. Let us know. Tell us. Post in the community forum on hellstormwallgaming.co.uk. Yeah. yeah we'll, put, we'll put a poll up on there and we'll get people to vote for the, the best ones that they find the favourite. Put a poll on there and get Fireman to slide down it. It'd be great. But yeah, so <laughs> that is 1750 <laughs> points of orcs. We will see what we can, they can do against the finest chapter ox, 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 of the Imperium, the Blood Ravens. Now, Ultramarines. Ox. So, guys, here's 1750 points of the age old Space Marines. Where? I know. Where? Oh, I don't oh, there think they are. I have a. There, there he is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Each of my models is going to have to kill about five of yours to make up for numbers. Each one, including the scouts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gone for a fairly tame army. I haven't brought Leviathans. As I said, obviously the Leviathans were on last week if you want a heavy Space Marine game. But I brought something that's a little bit fun. Stuff that doesn't get on the table too much. A traditional Space Marine army. Stuff that can lie down really quickly when they get washed over by a green tide. Yeah, basically. So I've not brought much Forge World cheese except for my character. Yeah, it kind of fits because this is very Dawn of War esque. Yeah. So why would you not bring Dawn yeah, of War? Dawn of War, stuff? they always fight Orcs first bit before they find out, oh no, it's Chaos. Who knew? Yeah. Every story Surprise. ever. Surprise. Surprise, it was Chaos doing it all along. However, so we brought we brought two de uh, three detachments today. See, so we do have an allied knight, so it's very Dawn of War three. Mm, brought proper a knight. knight. Yeah, exactly. two guns. Yeah, it's almost like Lady Solaria, but not as good. But there you go. If so, if she was a midget, <laughs> we've got it's basically my representation of an imperial knight, a real imperial knight. <laughs> so we've got three detachments. We've got a battalion, a uh, vanguard. Yeah, vanguard, the elite sure one. About that. No, I'm not sure. You're sure you know I what always, they're called? You sure know what they're basically, called? I basically don't know what they're called. I just know what they are. And then I've got a super heavy auxiliary detachment. So I'll start with the battalion. Auxiliary. Auxiliary, that's what I said. He's got an auxiliary. <laughs> an auxiliary orc. I've got Gabriel Angelos as my warlord. Um, so he's leading the battalion. He's going to take Storm of Fire. Uh, I should note that it might have said it on screen, but I am going to be using them as ultramarines today, not Raven Guard. Why is that? Because Raven Guard sucks. Oh, right. It is terrible. And I figured I'm going to be in combat fairly quickly. So if I take something I can pull out and still shoot, that would be more, more beneficial. So, as I said, Gabriel Angelos is the Warlord. I would like to give him Adept of the Codex to get CPs back. But because I'm technically a successor chapter, I can't use that Warlord trait. Success Orc? Because Space Marines. So he's taking Storm of Fire, so if I roll a 6 to wound while within 6 inches of him, he gets an extra AP on the gun, which is going to be super good for the all the no minus or minus 1s, uh, becoming minus 2 or, or minus 1 again for like the bolters and stuff. And then leading 2nd in command, we're going to take Lieutenant Hellstorm in his original form with a Mastercrafted Bolter and a Chainsword, because he devolved. Yeah, yeah, why not? And then He had too much salt, he shriveled up. <laughs> yeah. And then I've got um, 3 units of scouts. Um, one of them is missing a bolter because he originally had a stone bolter but don't have the points. So he's got a, an angry angry fist bolter. Uh, you'll probably see that in a premium report next week because I actually did the same. Um, so yeah, three units of scouts, all with bolters, silence have the chainsaw. And then I've got a unit of six tactical marines and the sergeant has a combi flamer. Uh, the reason I took six is because I couldn't get a special weapon on there and a combi flamer. So. Oh, you've actually taken a tactical squad that fits inside a Razorback this time. I've actually taken a tactical squad that fits inside a Razorback, correct. Mm, you'd never do that, would you? You wouldn't, you'd never take a seven-man tactical squad and then go, ah, I can't put them inside my transport. No, you'd never do I'd that. normally take five do and you? then put them in there with the character, but I've taken six because points. So four troops, 
Um, when you say four troops, is that four models or is that four units? It's basically four models. Okay, and trying. then I've got two dedicated transports. I've got two Razorbacks with twin assault cannons, storm bolters, and hunter killer missiles. Fairly standard Razorback loadout. Sometimes you don't bother with the front guns, you just take the uh, assault cannons. But yeah, against Dalton, we're really good because it's just so many shots, 12 shots each, and yeah. then installed that was on top, which is nice. Yeah. Short range, which is another problem, you know, only 24 inches. Um, but yeah, fairly standard. Yeah, but all going to close, so range is going to be completely irrelevant. Yeah, so you're going to be fairly close fairly quickly. So then also in that attachment, I've got the Stormhawk Interceptor, the Anti-Flyer, the Flyer Hunter. He's got the last tower on the Skyhammer missiles and two assault cannons as well. Um, so yeah, just loads and loads of assault cannons everywhere. I've just gone for Daka Daka Daka. I'm bringing more Daka than you. You reckon? Yeah, you I reckon. hope so. <laughs> so then in the, uh, in the Vanguard attachment, I have a Smash Captain. So he's going to be taking the Shield Eternal. Um, so he's got a Thunder Hammer, Storm Shield, Bolt Pistol somewhere, Crack Grenades, and a Jump Pack. That, that Storm Shield, give you that 3-up invul, is going to be amazing. It is. When, again, instead of using your 3-up armor save, when all those sluggers and choppers hit you with no AP. It will be alright against like your Power Claws and stuff like that, uh, I'm hoping. But yeah, he's, gonna, he's basically going to be going target uh, character hunting. That's his idea, or going beat up a plane. Yeah, I'll just shoot you out of the sky with my 50 super shooters. We'll see. Um, and then we've got a Dreadnought. Uh, and I'm going to be using Index Option purely because I wanted to take the Mortis Option, but I didn't have the points. Yeah. So I've got a Twin Heavy Bolter and a Twin Auto Cannon on there. Um, yeah. I've got the Redemptor Dreadnought with all the guns. He's got the two Onslaught Gatlin Cannons, one of them being heavy, one being a bit lighter. I get the feeling uh, he is going to put in a, a lot of work today. Yeah, he's got he's got like 18 strength 5 shots at minus 1, which is really and nice. He's a beast in combat. Yeah, he's got like the, the fist, which isn't minus 1 to hit, uh, that does d6 damage at strength 14, something like that. He's, he's going to basically... Pretty boss. He's going to do what people thought that thing would do when they first saw the model when he first came out like, yeah. over a year ago. Yeah, I exactly. I think he is going to be good in this game. Hopefully. And he's got two Storm Bolters in the chest and he's got the Rocket Pod on top. Yeah, unless I like, shoot him to death first. I mean, you could <laughs> be. So I've got a unit of five aggressors uh, with the Auto Bolt Storm Gauntlets and Frag Storm, Mis Frag Storm Launchers on top. Um, being Raven Guard, I can't really get them up the board very quickly, but being Ultramarines, at least I can uh, still like, pull out of combat and still shoot if I need to. And they just get loads and loads of shots, so hopefully I can use them to like bodyguard the characters and run everything up, that's the plan. And then, the final detachment, I have the Super Heavy auxiliary. I'm gonna have a House Morton um, Helverin. So, being a Super Heavy auxiliary, they don't actually get the clan, the, not the clan, I think got orcs on the main mind. They don't get the house benefit, however, they do still get the keyword, so that means they can still use a stratagem on them. Uh, so the House Morton stratagem is basically, you ignore all modifiers when shooting. That's not bad, it's only it affects your, only affects your top gun though because your gun arms don't suffer a minus one penalty for shooting. Ah, but you think, don't forget you've got flyers, which are minus one to hit. I only got one. Well, you, I suppose the Shinnok isn't technically a flyer, no, is it? It's like Shinnok's, a skimmer. Yeah, the Shin Shinnok's like a... Yeah, it's just like a big base, yeah. Big death copter, really. So it's not too bad. If you get stuff that can make yourself minus one to hit, uh, it's really good against like LA top flyers uh, because they can, become, they can become minus three to hit and then you spend one CP and you ignore that. For now. Yeah, and then... And then you can use another CP for Helvin to re-roll hits against fly units. So for two CP, you get re-roll hits and hit a normal BS against anything that flies, which is really good. Uh, and for the points, you'd l I'd love to take a Predator, but he's the same points and he's better. Yeah. So. There you go. So there's 1749 as well, so we are equally matched on points. Mm. Uh, just not equally matched in bot uh, model count. In boys. In bodies. So we'll see what we can do. The first codex versus the newest codex. It should be fairly interesting. Let's creep along with that, shall we? Yes. Yes, indeed. So, without further ado, let's go and see what these boys can do.
So guys, this is the battlefield for today. An overgrown industrial world. Once potentially a factory for the Imperium. Now. Spare it's parts. Now it's a scrapyard for mushrooms. Indeed. Mm. I'd be rude not to have the giant mushroom on for the fungus army. So we didn't actually go over the mission. Uh, we are playing, I believe it's called Cleanse and Catch, which is the first Maelstrom um, mission in the rulebook. So there are six Maelstrom objectives. Uh, we've got one, three, six, four, five, and two. Who taught you to count? I mean, it did equal six. <laughs> um, so they have to be more than 12 inches away, six inches off the board edge, and we get three cards a turn, and it's whoever's got the most points at the end of the game. Which is very buggy than for usual. Going for the loot. Yeah, so we played Dawn of War. It's a very classic game. Playing Dawn of War with like orcs and blood ravens. And Dawn of War deployment. <laughs> hmm. So the orcs have kind of we kind of like built two castles across from each other. Yours awesome. is like over there. Mine's kind of like here and over there a little bit. Interestingly enough, you got to you chose you told me to drop first, and then yeah, it was a presumption that you'd finish first, so I didn't see the point of being tactical about it. And then you but finished first anyway. I've been very cunning, and yeah. somehow I finished first. Yeah. So whilst you do have lots and lots of units, you do have lots of transports as well, so all your characters can get inside, whereas I can't. Mine all have to deploy. Mm. So speaking of deployment, I'll go over mine first. So I've got three scouts, kind of like blocking off any. They'll be able to shift for ready for turn two. Uh, Deep strikes, so basically just created a line of them, and they're also all quite close to objectives, which is nice. Uh, we've got an empty racer back here with the, and a unit of aggressors and the redemptor like right at the front. The spear of the spearhead. Don't look nervous, Neil. There's a lot of Dakar there. That's not Dakar. <laughs> That's so, not Dakar. <laughs> so then we've got the dreadnought, the two characters backing them up. We've got the razor back with the unit in. And then I said they've got another unit of scouts there. Then on the far flank we've got the Helverin and the Stormhawk, uh, Storm, yeah, Stormhawk Inceptor. Nearly called it Storm Talon. It's not a Storm Talon, it's a Stormhawk. So these ones, he, he moves really fast. He has super range and he wants to be as far away as possible as everything. So um, we kind of deployed them over there and then they have counter deployed over there, interestingly enough. So for Neil, you have a truck. I have. And it's got 12 dudes in, 12 shooter boys. So we got Orcs. Yeah. You got Baby Orcs. Little Orcs. Baby Orcs. More orcs. Yeah. Some more orcs. Yes. A few more smaller orcs. Yeah. Right clever orc. You'd be very helpful right now, Neil. Damn straight. <laughs> so yeah, chuck attack guns hiding back there. Probably can't see him. Yeah. We've There's got a, shooter boys in the truck. Some uh, grots to defend them. We've got a uh, war boss, a generic war boss, who's sort of shouting at grots because yeah. that's that's what you do. Yeah, exactly. Got, got burner boys in the Chinook. Who didn't see that coming? I yeah, know. Who knew? Um, we've got the party bus. The party bus, yeah. So we got ten knobs. Yeah. The warlord bus, and the weird boy sort of being weird on the roof of the just you know, chilling bone crusher. He's yeah. sort of just going and going. <laughs> Brilliant. Zap. <laughs> so we've got Grotz and we've got the Dakar jet in the corner. Interestingly enough, you're missing a battle wagon. A death. The bone crusher. No, it's not the bone crusher. That's the bone crusher. The actual battle wagon. Mm, but wait, there's more. Mm. So yeah, we get a stratagem for two CP. I yeah. can put a, any unit, any orc unit, up to twenty power level in a teleporter pad. Nice. Basically, gives it deep strike. So you can put a truck so, in deep strike or a battle wagon. If we had one here, you could put a mork or gork and ord. Is that not over twenty power level? No. Interesting. Now a stomper is. A stomper is. But, but a Gorkonaut isn't. But a Gorkonaut and a Morkonaut with a belly full of dudes is not. Wow. So Interesting. I've got a battle wagon with 20 dudes. Boys. Nice. In deep strike. Waiting to get all wibbly and wobbly and. No, cunning. please. No, no, please. Oh, so, please. I want to give a quick shout out to GameMat.eu for providing the battle map that we're using today. It looks very cool. Yeah, and we've got some of the industrial uh, terrain that they also provided as well. So make sure you do check them out. They are awesome. Makes really a nice. great good scrap. Yeah, it does. So. Neil, you deployed first. I did, somehow. Somehow. Magic cunning. We are going to play, as traditionally, chapter approved. The plus one. I'm going to channel my inner, inner shroom. Yeah. I'll give you a target was to wait for. Was it magic mushroom? Or was it poisonous? It was a six, which it becomes a seven. Wow, you rolled a six, Neil. For people who are new to the channel, that doesn't normally happen. 
Yeah, you have to normally pay for this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and else on the on the site, on the battle report there, the one of the premium ones, Neil might have rolled something different than a two or a one. Mm. Who knows? But it's not guaranteed. Go and check it out. Been on twice now. Yes. <laughs> so, Neil, I can't beat your six because it becomes seven. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm, it is indeed. So would you like to go first or second? Uh, first, please. You want to go first? Oh, yeah, I'm going first. No, no, I want to go first. I'm going first. Okay. Well, I think I want to seize. Good because that. I want to get rid of that. Because Why it's, you want to get rid of Because that? look how... It looks like it's going to fall over. But if there wasn't a bush there, I could spin that around and it sort of wobbles and goes woo! <laughs> so, I'm going to try and seize the initiative with the trusty Hellstone dice with the sixes being rubbed off. We should get some engraved ones. Yeah, that'd be really good. That'd be good. So here's a six. So one. Never mind. One, one, one. Well, good luck, Neil. Good luck. There's the brand new Orcs on Hellstone Wargaming movement phase coming up. So that's the end of movement. Before we go over movement, we'll go over cards. Neil Drew, Master the Warp, uh, which is, he could do, but he left the weird boy in the truck. Yeah, well, uh, on the truck. Yeah. He's on it. Secure Objective 4, which is the one just outside of Neil's deployment zone. And prior priority orders received, Secure Objective 1, which is that one there. So you can only capture that with your war boss. Uh, and he's over there. He's busy. So yeah. Um, you probably should note, that just as I dropped the camera, I decided to use prepared position, so I'm down 2 CP. But everything in my army now has a cover save, so it's everything has a 2 up save. Yes, everything, I was just checking. <laughs> Which is nice. I mean, you've got lots and lots of DACA, realistically. And whilst it doesn't have any AP, I'd rather have a 2 up save rather than a 3 up. Yeah. <laughs> Spoil all my fun. Yeah, so the Shinnok has flown straight over the full of Burner Boys. It's really close, with quite a big threat. It's got lots of, you know, it's. D3 shots for the unit, but there's 10 of them. So it's D3 shots each model, but you roll once. And there might be some tricks going on. Cunning, exactly. cunning tricks might be. Bad moon tricks. So the the DACA jet is uh, just just not gone aggressive. Not quite. No, he's sort of, he's, he's powered by two giant bombs. He's not really got an engine, he's just sort of got two little like, yeah. as he's going along. So the Bone Crushers move forward, the Gretchen have all kind of just moved around. This unit advanced, did that unit advance? That did not, they did, but they only went two inches. Ah, okay. I didn't see them because they're too small. That's, that's <laughs> and then the truckers, the, the truckers roll onto there and then the shock attack gonna stay still. So that's the end of the movement. Shall we go straight into the shooting phase? It's coming up next. Shall we call it the shooting phase or shall we call it the DACA phase? There ain't enough DACAs in the world. I started the shooting phase, we just done a little bit off camera. The two big shooters shot into the scouts and killed one of them. They don't have a two up, they have a three up. They are dead. Yeah, but yeah, one died. Uh, this truck moved forward, it's full of shoot boys. Shot at the uh, the aggressors and did nothing. Managed to make two, got two, you got loads and loads of hits. We hit and made a lot of noise. Yeah, but two wounds and then I passed them both. So Neil, what's next? Right, I'm gonna go with the shock attack gun. Okay, what's he gonna do? So, the shock attack gun mm -hmm. is D6 shots. Okay. And then you roll 2d6, that determines the strength. Cool. And there's some other stats that we'll worry about later. If I roll an 11 or a 12 on the strength, yeah. each successful hit does an additional d3 mortal wounds. Nice. On cool. top of the normal damage. Very nice. So, number of shots. Yeah. It's two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that for now. Very good. So, strength. two shots. And the strength is. Cocked. It's cocked. So, it's six plus. Oh. Strength 7. So strength 7 with two shots. Yeah. He is BS5, so he's hitting on 5. So. Yeah. 
misses. It makes five. It does make five. So does it make a six some, though? There's now some sort of very confused grots wandering around up there. Yeah, they're just maybe flying they're past like. Maybe getting stood on. It's kind of like Angry Birds, but with grots at the minute. Oh, they're, they're not angry. They're just very confused. <laughs> okay, mate. What's next? Right then, we're going to do the contents of the Shinork. Yeah. So we're going to put the burners into the aggressors. What range are they? Eight. Are they in range? Yes, that's cool. why it's there. No that's is. why it's danger close. Cool, so it's D3 shots for the unit. So three, three shots. shots of 30 hits. Not oh, correct? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back in a second. 30 hits, guys. You can't even shake him in his hand because there's too many. So it's five to wound because it's going for. Uh, there's a couple. Let's peel back the bush. That's it. I see like five, six maybe. Yeah, sadly, I don't there's get three, five, four, fives there. I don't get daka 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 daka. Oh, this is more of a wolf. So that's not bad. That is ten wounds. Not too bad at all, mate. That's a th that's math. That's a third. Yeah. So I have a two up save because I've prepared positions, uh, and I fail one. Toasty. Not too bad. So I'll take a wound on the guy who's very close to you. But wait, there's more. Yes. So the bad moves get a stratagem. Yep. And it basically, the 2CP lets me shoot again. And it's called show offs. Very good. So they're going to show off. Yes. So I'm now down to 8CP. Yep. So D3 shots. Get the big three again. So another 30 shots. 30 hits even. So 60 hits from one unit. And that unit probably costs like 12 points, if that. Maybe, maybe, I think, no, I think it was more like 13, I think. Right, okay, so the, so the Flamers are shooting again. They've hit 30 times, it's five to wound. Can it be 10 again? It was more than 10 this time. And then six in the middle. Some. Some. I think that's like 15. I think that's... Maybe less. And oh, that's 13. 13. 3, 6, 9, 10, 13. Burn horribly, please. 13, 2 up, so one's on one wound. Get cooked. Get dunked. Woof! And I passed them all. That's unfortunate. Yes. But it was cool. So, prepared positions has definitely paid off. <sighs> <laughs> hey, you made me go second. Okay, so you have the daka 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 jet. I do. And the battle wagon death roller bone crusher thingy. I do, and I've got the. Are the actual chinook itself? Do you want to do the chinook itself? I think his rattler cannons are only. Rattle cans. Rattler cannons. <laughs> rattle cans, you just spray paint just yeah. got two big rattle cans <laughs> on the side. Brilliant. Um, so we'll have a look I'll what have, that does. I'll have to check that. And then we'll be back in a second. No, I can only fire his big shooter because he advanced. Mm -hmm. So yeah. his rattler cannons are heavy. Ah, never mind. Where would you like to shoot? I'm going to shoot the aggressors again. Okay, so you're sixes to hit now because you're advanced. Yeah, but sixes still generate more hits. Yeah, because Daka 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 is unmodified, so... Daka 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 Daka. One hit. Strength five, so force to wound. To wound. Two up save because I've prepared positions. Get dead. He's oh. passed. <laughs> Do you remember when I told you that I need every model to kill five? <laughs> You're going to need 50 models to kill every one of oh, mine. Kills a space marine. He's a, he's a tough, chunky space marine. He's about to be a dead space marine. Is he going to get Is he going to get super shooted? He's going to get super shot. Yeah. So six super shooters, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so he's basically like strength six heavy bolters. Yeah. But they have a, the DACA... The, 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 the DACA jet has a special rule. Mm -hmm. Because of, you know, it's not a space marine codex unit. So, if he fires all its uh, super shooters at the same target, mm -hmm. I guess plus one's a hit. Nice. So what, what's its BS now? BS4? Now it's hit on fours. Nice. So is, are they heavy weapons? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. So fours and then sixes generate extras. So you roll three sixes. Oh, well, I forgot something. Bad moons. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones. Yeah. Which I don't think it's mad. So reroll ones it's... and then reroll three extra for Daka Daka. No one. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, because it's made on fours. Yeah. So, three more for Daka Daka. Yeah. That's hit as well. So, another hit. Decent number of hits. Yeah. So, it's down six. So, it wounds on threes. Ooh, one missed. Ooh. One failed. So, Ooh. six wounds. Six wounds. That's got to be three dead. 
gotta be three dead. <laughs> it's minus one, so I have a three up now because I'm because of the uh, the AP. Oh, so yes. it kills kills one and then kills another one, so I'll remove those two. Ooh. Very Ooh. nice. Anything else? The, yeah. The death roller. Yeah. I keep calling it. Oh, I, I, I call, call it something different every time. So we'll have a look what you can see and then we'll come back. Guys, so uh, the, all the big shooters from the uh, Bone Crusher are going to shoot into the Redemptor. Yep. So hitting on fives. You got three sixes. So re roll three of them for extra shots. Got another hit. One. Nice. So four hits, five hits. Yep. And then strength five. five. So five to wound. Two, two wounds. wounds. Two two ups because there's no minus. And then we can cover. Three. There's a wound. Down to 12, I believe. I'm pretty sure they've got 13 wounds. All makes for the scrap. Yes, indeed. Is that everything, Neil? For now. That was, um, it was less than a thought. I mean, killing two aggressors is decent, to be fair. I mean, it was cunning. A lot less brutal. Yeah, I reckon 10 twos where you're really going to shine because I won't have that two up save anymore. Yeah. So, do you score any cards? I believe you probably secure objective four. I secure objective four. Well, you don't so you don't master the warp. No. You're not going to hold the objective with your warlord. No, I'm going to discard that as well. Yeah, no worries. So get rid of priority orders received, and so that one will yeah. go as well. Okay, so that's the end of the orcs' turn. At one point, uh, no fair strike. I don't need a morale because I'll need you eight mm. or nine even. I think. So yeah, so we're going to the space marines' turn. The best army in the game. No. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Drawn off for the Emperor, so make a charge in the infantry or backer unit. Uh, supremacy, hold any three objectives, and blood and guts, make a charge. Really want to be to get into combat. Oh, and I'm not doing that this turn. Oh, no way. You should charge your uh, Stormhawk into the floor. No way. So, not a lot has moved. There's been a little bit of shuffling around here. Uh, however, this unit of uh, scouts have advanced to get this objective. This one's shuffled round so they can get within six of the lieutenant to get reroll wounds of one, and they're holding this objective. This unit have jumped up um, to basically gun down some grots. Not the plan. Well, um, and then this Razorback is holding this objective, so I will score supremacy at the end of the turn. Uh, the, all the vehicles have stayed still except for the Stormhawk uh, because it has to move, and it's basically gone here, so it's within six inches of these two. Everything here is rerolling hit, rerolling hits and then wounds of one and also any sixes to wound get the extra AP and basically got, I've got to kill as much as I can uh, this turn before I actually go and get charged by everything which is going to be a problem or run over yeah so the Helverin has moved up he's basically got into line of sight of the Daka jet so he's going to try and take that out if not this is going to have to finish it off I'm hoping this can then start focusing on the trucks instead though but the Daka jet's the only thing that does anything to you <laughs> oh no <laughs> So, without that, that's the end of the movement phase of Space Marines, so go into the shooting phase next. As these scouts and these scouts have shot into the Gretchen and killed six of them. Bully. Yeah, exactly. However, we're going to use the Helverin next, and he's going to be shooting at the Dakajet. And I'm going to spend one CP, so I'm going to be down to six, and I'm going to give myself re rolled hits. I'm not going to use the ignore modifiers, I don't think. You really have hit on fours. Yeah. So I get 4d3 shots, I'll shoot the heavy stubber into the grots. <laughs> because you've got to because shoot Because why those. not? So 4d3 shots into the flyer. So not a bad roll. Eight. Not many. I think it's eight. Yeah. Hitting on falls but re-rolling misses. So one definitely missed because it's a three. Reroll two of them. So one missed. And then it's strength seven. Your toughness is six. It's three to wound. Oh, look at them sixes, boys. That's six wounds. If only that six did something. So it's six saves at minus one. Uh, I have a fork save. So now you have five up. Five ups. 
Fair, so that's uh, it's three damage each. Ah. Does it blow up? No. Does it crash and burn? Does it fall from the sky? It does not. So it that just, is fair strike. It just falls off the table. Yeah. Bowling. That was a little bit nasty. <laughs> but now it's really nasty. Me killing these last grots. Oh, there's four of them, so I can't kill all of them. It falls to hit because I moved. One hit, twos, one wound. Minus. Minus nothing. No, it's just stubborn, isn't it? Six stubborn. up. Ah! I made it. Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Now, I think I don't. I don't think we really proved anything there because it's just the power of the Helvrin at the minute. The killing flyers. They are really good. Killing, really good. killing cheap flyers as well. Eighty yeah. point flyers. Yeah, exactly. So he's still not quite made his points, but yeah, if he would have killed a grot, he would have. But no. next time. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do next is my turn. Think about it. Okay, so the Stormhawk, the anti-flyer, is going to shoot the thing that's kind of a flyer but not really. So he's going to put the last talon and the sky hammers into there, and he's going to put the assault cannons into the truck. So I'll do the sky hammers first. I'm BS three, but I moved, so I might hit hitting on fours. However, since you have fly, you get plus one to hit. And, and because you have fly, you also get plus one to hit from the sky hammers. Shoot me, I've been nerfed so horribly. <laughs> so I hit on twos with this guy. We roll in because of Gabriel. Because you need it. Yeah, so it's strength seven. Your toughness? Uh, 14. 14, okay, so it wounds on threes. <laughs> uh, so two misses. <laughs> but it won't be minus one, but this is now minus two because I rolled a six to wound. So, failed. Maybe. D3 damage. It was, it was a four. It was that one, that yeah. dice there. So and there's lots of ones is, and twos around it. He is down to six. Down to six. So now I get the last talon. So this would be fours, but because you're a flyer, basically, he naturally gets plus one against flyers. And then the sky hammers themselves get plus one against flyers. So it hits on threes now, re-rolling. Two hits, so oh, it's a double six, Neil. Oh, nice, wasn't it? Freeze to wound, re-rolling once. Codex broken. Two wounds, mate, at minus three. I don't get a save. Studio six damage. Average says this is dead. Oh, that's, well, a, that's a whiff. Okay. So I'll re-roll the one. <laughs> uh, you got six wounds in total, aren't you? So I've got three left currently. Yeah, you got one left. Oh, one left. <laughs> well done. Great job. Max looking up in the sky just like... Made a good one there. Not bad. Not bad at all. It made a solid one there. <laughs> <laughs> so then I've got 12 assault cannons at the truck. You don't have fly, so I am hitting on fours, re-rolling ones and twos. I'm also jinking. Clearly. One miss so far. I'm rolling a lot of sixes to hit. If only I had Dakadak, maybe I should be playing the Orcs. Mm, maybe, maybe you should just lie down and just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I've missed four times, I think. Eight hits. Uh, top of six. The uh, fourth yes, to wound. Uh, re-rolling ones, but I didn't roll any ones. So, you've got three at minus one. And then three at minus two because the six is the wound. So three at minus two, these yeah. six ups. Very good. Nope. Three wounds. And then three at minus one. So three five ups. Saves one. So five wounds. So he is down to five. Pretty tasty. Pretty tasty there from the um, the old the old Stormhawk. It's all right. It's really good because because of prepared positions and how flyers are going to be like dominating. They're actually not too bad, especially since they reroll ones for the saves. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do this Razorback next. I'm going to put the Hunter Killer into the Battle Wagon, <gasps> into the Death Roller. Well, if you can't say its name, you can't shoot it. <coughs> into the Bone Crusher. No. Skull Crusher. No. Bone thingy. What's it called again? <laughs> what then? Bone Maul. Bone Roller. Rolly Boy. <laughs> bone Purifier. <laughs> it's a Rolly Boy. <laughs> So the hunter killer into the rolly boy, the storm bolter into the shinnok, and the assault cannon into that. No, don't kill the shinnok. I'm definitely going to kill the shinnok. So I do the storm bolter first. Forced. Hitting on threes. Are you rolling? So I'll hit. We know fives, I presume. So toughness five. On this guy. Toughness fourteen. So five yeah, twos. Do you only once? Ah, I didn't get lucky there. Uh, hunter killer hitting on threes. Hits. Wounding on fours because it's strength eight. Toughness eight. Doesn't wound. Boing, 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 boing. I know. That was six points well spent. Yeah. I could almost get an orc for that. You used to be able to. You get two grots for that. Yes, you can. <laughs> and the assault cannon hitting on threes. Are you rolling? 
All the sixes again. I need to start playing Orcs, I think. I think this is basically showing us what ha what needs to happen. So two missed. If only you had a really nice Orc army to use. If only. <laughs> and then fours to wound, uh, threes to wound, sorry. We rolling ones. ones on. Into the truck. truck fours to wound. Six. Yeah, no worries. Fours to wound, re-rolling ones. So two fails, so you've got three at minus two. Crikey. Assault cannons against trucks aren't bad. Assault cannons against most things that aren't land raiders is not bad. That's three more wounds, so he's down to two. Yep, and then another five at minus one. Oh dear, five ups. Nice, so he's dead. Do you blow up? <coughs> no. No, and you have 12 guys inside. I do. So, on any, any rolls of a one, you'll start losing some boys. It's about time. Who's a boy? Who's a boy? So you've got 11 dudes to pop out, so we'll be back in a second. Right, so these different disembark there. Now we've got Cheeky Lieutenant Hellstorm is going to try and finish off the Chinook with his Mastercrafter Bolter. No. He hits on fours. No, he doesn't. He does hit. Strength four. Five to wound, we've only once. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Um, you can frantically see the burners trying to weld the thing together <laughs> while it's still in flight. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to double check. Is this in range of your truck? What truck? That one. I got truck. I don't know. I got no kill. Don't kill it. I'm going to kill it. Don't kill it. I'm going to shoot the storm bolter at the grots. Bully. The hunter killer at the truck because I can't actually see the other big boy. Roll it, Rollo. I can't see Rollo. Rollo. And I'm going to shoot the assault cannon at the flyer at the Chinook. So we're going to do the Storm Bolter first, hitting on threes, re rolling. Wounded on twos, re rolling ones. Re rolling ones. One wound and one at minus one. So one dead, basically. One's dead and one is dead. dead. So two grots dead. Hunter Killer at the truck, so hitting on threes. Wounded on threes. Um, Boing. Rubbish, I did that twice. That's because it's an Orc V, this one. Yeah, exactly. So here's nine shots from the assault cannon. And then another three because I didn't have enough dice. Re roll the misses. Did this one move? No, he did not. No one's moved. The only thing that moved was the things that had to or didn't suffer a minus, basically. Uh, wounded on threes. Is it tough as five or six? This should not have this one. Yeah, there is. So three. Re roll the ones. Jesus. Jesus indeed. So we get one at minus two. Would you like to do that one first? Continue. Or possibly mark. Six up. It's a four. Does he blow up? No. 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 Ten dark guys inside to jump out. Yeah. So you're not happy, are you, Neil? No, I think Mikey's a horrible person. <laughs> you lose four burner boys, from what I can see. Is it definitely four? Oh, that's a bit hot there. That. that is a little bit hot. Obviously it's a long way down. So they're going to jump out. We'll be back in a second. Alright, so the bow and the boys have jumped out. They're trying to stay out of range of the aggressors. They've managed to get out of range of this one. And this one is out of range of everything. It's more that they conveniently fell out of range of the aggressors. On that, but they fell they out on the right they side of the chin orc this door, morning. They just went like that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so two of them are in range. So they can shoot twice this turn, but it's two separate attacks. Oh. So I'll do the first one first, I'll do 2d6 shots from the top, that gets me 7, so I'll do that. I'll do these separately because it just, it's just easier. So that's 5, 6, 7. Obviously this is all done at the same time technically, so 3's to hit me rolling. One missed, and then toughest 4, so 4's to wound re-rolling ones. No re-rolls, we have 1 at minus 1 because I rolled a 6. So that's 1 dead. And then 3 normal saves. So that's three dead. Three dead in total. And then I get the bolt storm gauntlets, which is the hands, so they get six shots. So it's 12 shots. Three's to hit. Re rolling. One missed. It's nasty. Nasty pasty. Falls to wound. Uh, re rolling ones. One basically dies because I rolled six. And then it's another four saves. That's three more dead. Four. That's it does actually kill the unit. That wipes them. It does wipe them. So, um, I don't think, I'm not sure the aggressors can actually see anyone else. 
uh, and all be on range because these guys are a little bit too far out so they can't shoot twice they basically just declare it and then they've got no targets oh i'm a sad boy i'm a sad boy so i have the two dreadnoughts left i also have the tactical squad left um i don't really know what they're in range of nothing my turn so we're gonna have a look okay so the dreadnought he's gonna shoot his twin heavy bolter at the gretchen and his twin auto cannon at the bone breaker yeah i'll let you shoot it this time then. <laughs> so i'll do the heavy bolter first so he's hitting on threes with six shots re-rolling so three hits killing them on twos re-rolling so three dead meat but it's minus one unnecessary and fairly granted <laughs> So then we got four shots with the twin auto cannon, had the bone breaker, threes to hit, re-rolling. This is Solid Strength 7, it is toughness 8, it's basically like a land raider with the worst save, isn't it? Like yeah. 16 wounds. Not quite refined. No, not it's quite. Just, you know, you just need to polish scrap. it a little bit, that's all. So five to win, you roll it once. I roll a six, I roll a one. So it's one wound with minus two because I rolled a six. So six up. Takes two damage. So he's down to 12, uh, 14. Down to 12, uh, 14. He's down to less. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have the Redemptor left because everything else is out of range. So he's going to shoot his Storm Bolters and his Rocket Pod and the Small Gatling Cannon at the, the Battle Wagon, the Bone Breaker, the, the Rubbish Land Raider. Um, and I've got the Big Gun. And I think I'm going to shoot that at that as well. Just try and get some wounds off. What yeah. do you think? I think you should just let me have a go and stop bullying me. D three shots from the top. One shot. Ha! It hits on fours because you're not a flyer. Not yet. Hits. Strength build, seven. Build me a ramp and I'll fly. It does nothing. So then we've got two storm bolters. I'm essentially only shooting the storm bolters and stuff at this because it's the only thing you can see that's in range. Yeah. It's rubbish. So we rolling misses. So four hits. Sixes to wound with this one. We rolling ones. Nothing. And then we've got the small Gatling cannon, which is six shots. Hitting on three, you roll in. Honestly, I wish I had Daka Daka. <laughs> All rolled similar. The amount of sixes like, I've rolled like to hit. Like you know, really goes in the bin, <laughs> just coming off the shelf. Exactly. <laughs> uh, it's five to wound, you roll in ones. So I get two wounds, but one of them is minus two, rather than minus one. So, minus two. Takes uh, a wound. Minus one. Saves it. Beautiful. Should have rolled it the other way around. <laughs> It actually I'll wouldn't have made a difference. Next time I'll roll my dice. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I will pick. Cool. And then 12 shots from the uh, the bigger gun. It's the same strength, but it's just more shots. Just three to hit me rolling because I haven't moved. As you can imagine, why would you move as a space moon player against orcs? You know, I'm come and shake my hand. I mean, it's a very big green hand. Yeah. I don't know where it's been. <laughs> it's five to win me rolling once. I think you're rolling your ones as equal measure as your sixes at the moment. I think so, yeah. So it's two wounds, one and minus one. Minus one. one. Saves Last. it. Minus two. Oh. It takes a wound. So he's down to 12 now. Cool. So then chips a couple of wounds, better than nothing. Maybe I should have shot some Gretchen just to get rid of a unit. Well. Yeah. Be right. Okay. To be fair, I think that's about to happen anyway. Yeah, maybe. Unless you get a charge with those space wounds. Um, I am going to actually consider doing a charge because I need to get some cards, you see. So, uh, we'll have a think and we'll be back with the charge phase. Okay guys, so I'm actually deciding I'm not going to charge. Reason being, I could get blood and guts by charging into there. But also I could just stand still and get supremacy, which is worth D3 points rather than 1. Which he's going to roll a 1 for. We shall see. So supremacy at the end of the turn. You do have to do morale first though. I do. Do you want to do morale for these, Gretchen? I'm going to roll the dice, but they've lost 8. Yep. What leadership are they? Like four? Probably not eight. <laughs> I roll a six. Roll a six, so they're probably definitely don't, dead. Don't they get like D six back for something like that with the banner? Yeah, 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 probably. Where's the banner? Um Here well, zoom in. That's a secret. Goodbye, little grot. It was nice knowing you. That's those guys dead. Uh, this one did lose three. They are they are actually legit four, it was a guess. So if you roll the one you're fine. If not, we'll have to have a look what how many you lose. So you roll the four, so you technically lose three. Unless you want to break some heads instead. I'm going to break some heads. Yeah, so what happens is if you're within three inches of a war boss, then he can uh, he make them so He just sort of gets his power claw and restores discipline. Yeah, so you take D3 with mortal wounds instead. So it might be less. 
You take two. You take two instead of three. That's not too bad. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't think there's any more. I nearly lost like one, and they yeah. their leadership is. We got boys. The, is it the mob rule? Is it yeah. where you count your leadership so as how many you've got left in the unit? Your leadership is however many orc models are around you. Yeah. So their he's leadership, fine. Leadership uh, eleven. Yeah, they're fine. The better boys are gone. So. Without much, what we've got supremacy to do. I keep saying without further ado, and I need to stop that because I've well, said it like nine. Th I've, I've, I've said it at least nine times. So here's a three. It's a two. So I score one point for supremacy. You did Called call it. it. <laughs> you did call it. So I've scored that one. So I get one point. I still have to go the emperor and blood and guts. Uh, I think I'm going to keep them for now, especially since it's turn two next, and I don't have a smash captain in reserve. So that's the end of turn one. Pretty brutal. Neil's was a little bit cunning, but I feel like mine was a little bit more brutal. Mm. Slow burner. Slow burner. Dead burners. You see, I'm going to say they're fairly slow now. They don't have a transport. And they're dead. Which also makes Got it him. zero. It does, yes. So there you go. So it is Orcs turn two. Coming up next, guys. Let's see what Neil can do. Is he going to think about some teleporting? Maybe. He might do. We'll see. It's coming up next. Tactical objectives are Master the Warp again, so cast Psychic Power, grab Dalute, roll a d6 when this tactical objective is generated, score one point if you control that objective marker, which is rolled objective three, which is this one here, and here we go, wah, score one point, if three or more orc units from your army made a charge, score d3, five or more orc units made a charge this turn, not too difficult really, could be alright, yeah. however movement has finished, the Bone Crusher has rolled forward. He's looking like he wants to make a cheeky charge this turn, maybe. Interesting. Maybe. All the boys are really, really close. The weird boy has jumped out. This guy has come down from the teleporter pad. Quite far away. Nah, close enough. Close enough. Close enough. He's got lots of guns, to be fair. He's got lots of guns and he's still got stuff he can charge. Yeah, exactly. The, gr the Gretchen. Are they Gretchen or Grots? They're uh, Gretchen. Gretchen. The Grots have moved forward with the War Boss. And these boys have come around looking like they want to have a fight. And this is just drag racing. Pretty this much. Guy. It's just yeah. sort of. Originally, I put Drifting. it in there. Mm -hmm. And then realised I had to draw my cards. And then ah. realised I had to charge something. So he basically put handbrake on. So he's still in range of 18 to him. Yeah. For shooting, but then he can probably he can charge them. He's got 18 to charge to them. So. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Break on at last minute. Yeah, exactly. Deja vu and all that. <laughs> so that's and the track attack gun obviously stays still. Hopefully it can do something this turn. Yeah. So that's the end of movement for the orcs. It's the psychic phase. Magic phase. So the the um, weird boy. Warped. 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 Weird boy. He's gonna cast. He's so gonna what do you like to cast? He's gonna start with smite. Okay. So which is gonna be on the clutch visible unit, which is the stormhawk. So. On a five. On a ten. Goes off. So it's D3. I'd get more than 10 to get D6. Yeah, now there's something about Orc Psychic Tests. You get, you get add for every Orc model. I think it's every model with here we go. So we'll have a look. We'll have a look what it does. I know you get up to plus three now. It used to be for every model. But we'll have a look in the codex. So you do only get, uh, you get plus one for every 10 models within 10 inches in except Gretchen. Models, yeah. Yeah, so they don't count. So it does only go off on 10, so it's D3 model wounds. So we get. Two. Gets two, so the Stormhawk is down to eight. Okay, what would you like to cast next? I'm going to cast Warpath. Okay, so what's um, that do? So Warpath is cast on a seven, mm -hmm. and he can cast it on a friendly Orc unit, 18 inches, and increase the attack characteristics of one until your next friendly psychic phase. Nice, are you going to cast it on? Bonebreaker. Yeah, why not? Go for it, watch our seven. It does go off on a nine. I can't do anything to deny it, so. Should have brought, brought a magic bike. Yeah. 
the rubbish though aren't they for every magic boy I bring you can bring 300 orcs yeah <laughs> so you say that like it's a problem so that's the end of the psychic phase so it's the shooting phase coming up next guys shooting phase the truck and all these capacitants shot at the tactical marines and did nothing they made a lot of noise made a lot of saves again yeah. These guys didn't bother shooting. The Grots advanced. The uh, the war boss with his cool custom four shot shooter. custom shooter got four hits against the flyer and then didn't wound. Didn't wound. Well, he hit it. He, he just, did hit he it just four hit times. Hard bits. He hit twice and got two extra shots because of double six. Yeah, he hit non scrap bits. Yeah, and then and then got four hits but no wounds. So we've got we're gonna do the bone crusher guys first. So what's gonna shoot out of there first? So warlord's gonna pull out his magic blunderboss. Very good. Uh, and he's gonna shoot the turkey. Okay, it's not a hell turkey. Well, it's still a turkey. It's a storm it's talon. Hell. It's the it's the it's the talon of the crow. The raven. Okay, so it's two d six auto hits. But it's a cool flamer shotgun thingy. Blam! Four <laughs> shots. So it's all already hit. Strength five at minus one, so five to Too wounds. much gunpowder, not much ammo. Yeah. So it's two wounds. It's minus one, am I correct? Uh, yes, it's minus one. Okay, one. so it's a four up save, but I reroll ones because I'm a stun one. Rerolling ones. One wound. Hooray. Down to seven. Okay. We've also got. Uh, Ten sluggers. Very nice, so they're the pistols. Yeah, they're the pistols from the knobs. Okay. So they go into the fire as well? Yeah. Okay, so it's fours to hit. Uh, sorry. Sixes to hit. Six to hit, because you're not BS, <laughs> BS3. So you so got a shot. Reroll me two ones. Rerolling ones. No. Nope, and then daka daka daka. Doesn't apply. Oh, of course it does. Of course it does. Mm -hmm. One shot. Fives. It's a wound. wound. Three up rerolling ones. Made it. And You've done one wound so far, Neil. Awesome. <laughs> <coughs> the actual truck itself? Uh, so, battle, bone, wagon, crusher. It's got loads of big cross. shooters, hasn't it? So you've got three? Four? Four big shooters. Four big one. shooters. One, two, three. Very good. Two, and what are they shooting? Three. In all different directions. It's really unlikely. And now we're going to go <laughs> into the aggressors. Into the aggressors, okay. Because you've only got three up safe now. Yeah, so it's five to hit. Three roll ones. Three roll ones, and then you get four extra shots. Five, Five extra shots. Daka, 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 Daka. Very nice. No, nope. doesn't. I oh, reroll ones, of course. It's Does convert it to an extra shot. Yeah, all those rules. Brilliant. Shot. So it's five. Balls to wound. Balls to wound, mate. Three wounds. Three wounds. Three wounds. So three, three up saved, so I don't have a two up anymore. Please die. I'll take a wound. Hooray. So I'll put it on the uh, closest guy. <coughs> okay. So he's going to take a wound. Oh, look at that, I rolled a one next to it, that was brilliant. Perfect. Just as planned. Cool, so you got the other battle wagon and you got the shock attack gun. So, battle wagon, he's going to put his three big shooters into the aggressors. Mm -hmm. And he's going to plonk his cannon, his kill cannon. Kill cannon? Hit kill cannon. Great. Into the uh, um, big dreadnought. Into the redemptor. That's the one. Okay, go for it. So, big shooters, shooters into the aggressors, so threes to hit. Wow, that's three so I keep saying threes to hit, it's not threes to hit, it's fives to hit. I mean, mate, I'll hit on, I'll hit on threes all you want. No sixes? No. One hit. One hit. Force the wound. Two wound. wound. Get dead. Three up. Hooray! Just kill one. I do miss Raven Guard sometimes. Yeah. During the shooting phase, especially. Uh, the kill Got cannon. The, back. the kill cannon, do you remember what it does? Still so we're going to have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> So it is a D6 shot battle cannon that does two damage rather than D3. Yeah. So it cool. gets one shot. Uh, Rubbish. <sighs> Indeed. Misses. Misses. Hooray! Well, it's on it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Definitely landed somewhere. So you've got the shock attack gun left. I've got 20 sluggers inside. They're going to shoot the scouts. 20 sluggers. It's going to shoot the scouts. Okay then. You do that. That makes you feel better. I want to roll more dice. I've only <laughs> killed a space marine so far. And to be fair, you've killed three super space marines and one not quite a space marine. So that probably equals two space marines. I'm going to kill a squid. Go for it. Um, so, fives and sixes. Rerolling ones. Yep. Cocked. You got it cocked on, on, on a bush. That was impressive, Neil. Three sixes. So, good. three extra shots. Yeah. There's another five there as well. So seven hits so far. Seven hits. 
supposed to. I mean, thanks for the rules, GW, but you know, you're asking, you're asking for <laughs> miracles here. Yeah. It is it it's you after all. So two four up saves. Yeah. Last one. So kill the guy with the chainsaw who is also the closest. Because <laughs> that's rude. Shock okay. attack gun. Shock attack gun. He's going to pop up the dreadnought again. Okay. So, so number of shots. Number of shots. Six. Six. Very nice. The important one now is the strength. 2d6. Strength four. Does he CP? Does he CP the one? I'm going to CP the one. So CP the one, so it's strength three plus. <coughs> Here we go, Neil. You only need to roll more than one. Easy. It's a one. It's Hooray! Two, so it was easy. <laughs> so strength six shots at strength four. Hitting on five. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. And you get an extra, extra shot. shot. And no re-rolls. Very good. Four, four hits. hits. Five to wound. Easy. One wound. Do you know what the minus is? Uh, I think it's minus two or three. I'll roll it because you never know. I rolled a five, so it does matter. If it's minus two, I've passed. If it's minus three, I've failed. Oh, curse these new rules. Bloody hell, Neil. It is minus, oh. Oh, right, okay. How pretty it's minus is. five. It's minus five, so he ignores my save. How much damage is it? Uh, D6. Oh, very nice. That's, it's, it's quite good, apparently. <laughs> there you go, D6 damage. Two. Well, that's a two, so I'm down to ten. But wait, there's more. Okay. I'm going to put two more CP into it. Take Shoot again. Down to five. Yeah. I'm going to do it again. Okay. So number of shots. shots. It's four. Four. Strength this time. Please be more than four. It's four. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely four. <laughs> Go for it. Fives and sixes. Rerolling ones. Extra daka, daka, shot. daka. Rerolling ones. One hit. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Five still. Those rolls. <laughs> it's a one. It's a one. It doesn't move. Oh, hooray. Love it. Shocking, this shock attack gun. It is. Is it? It's a character. That's the annoying thing. So I, it's just going to sit there and keep doing it until I get close. Yeah. Which hey, is probably was, never. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. I mean, I spent. Yeah, just two rooms and you spent like four CP. Yeah, three CP. Three CP. Three CP. Three CP. A reroll and a stratagem to yeah. shoot, shoot again. Three CP to do two, two rooms. Worth it. Phase, Neil. You need to make three to five charges, is it? Well, I need to make at least three. At least three. Okay. Which, uh, I've probably got four lined up, so it's. I need, You've got quite a few. I need three to work. Okay. So who's going to charge first? This truck. This truck. The Orc V. Yeah. Charge from Scouty some, Boys. Run okay. Some over. It's almost like I knew you were going to do that. I just mm. happened to have eight dicey man. So bolters. Missed. Charge range at eight inch. Well, that's a 12. <laughs> Here we go. He's going to slam straight into the front. Funnily enough, you wear with a 12, you're definitely wearing charge range. Yeah. Okay. I presume some old boys are going to charge. Boys are going to charge. I'm going to say two guys boys. can see. Yeah, they can, yeah. So I've got four shots. Not re-rolling hits. But I am re-rolling ones to wound. No wounds. Cool. So probably a fairly short charge. It is, I think it's a six inch charge. Yeah, seven, seven, probably more than likely in. You're definitely just within within an inch. Well, I'm in. Uh, the thing is, I get here we go. We can re-roll one I of them for free. any of them. Yeah, very strong is here we go. It's a six inch charge, so I'm in, but I might want to get more boys in. So I can't fail this, and even in that la losing an inch, it's not really going to make me lose out at all. No, so you just need to roll more than a two, Neil. It's just for the rat round more than all else. Very good. A ten. Yes, indeed. So we'll move them in and we'll be back with the next charge. So that's them there guys. So the battle wagon is now going to charge these scouts. We've got some more bolters. Missed. It did deep strike so it's at least a nine. Failed. You don't have here we go dear as a truck, as a battle wagon. Uh, only only uh, infantry. All the infantry yeah. I'm saving my reroll for the bone crusher. You save your reroll, okay. So the bone crusher, where's he going to go mate? He's going to slam into the side of that Razorback. Is it? It's quite a long charge. It is. What sort of range is it, do you know? It is basically 10 or 11. It's a 10 inch charge. Yeah, so we'll do the Storm Bolter first. Hits on six as we roll in. Uh, one hit. Six as we roll in ones. 
Nothing. I've got the ass cannon. I find that very assaulting. I would assume you would. Mm. That was uh, that was alright, that wasn't it? It was decent. Six as we roll in. That was that was worse. So that was four worse. hits. Five hits. Daka daka daka. And then five as we roll in ones. <laughs> That's three wounds. It's three at, three at minus, at four at minus, sorry. Oh, three. It's three at minus one. Yeah, because the stun fire only happens in the shooting phase. Nice, well done. I thought I was going to be a bit cheeky there. So you've got 10 or 11 inch charge. If it's a 10 we'll check, if it's an 11 you're in. Easy Neil. Believe in the power of Gork or Mork. It's a five Neil. <laughs> 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 no, not that much is, a, that that. is a five. So, with that, that's the end of the charge phase. Uh, da, 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 Don't forget anyone else is in charge range. Da. That was Super Mario. It's the mushroom that's doing it, that's why. Mm. One up. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the charge phase, so it's the yeah. fight phase coming up. Okay guys, we're going to start with the up boys. They're all in range to fight. So you get two attacks each because you've got guns. We're well, hitting on threes. You hit on threes in combat. No daka daka. Clubber, clubber, clubber. Not quite. <laughs> Quite a few hits though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another one there. So you missed what, five, six times? Not too bad. Strength four. Strength four. It's like orcs. orcs are now what they should be. Orcs are now. Orcs are face wounds. Strength four's the wound. How many saves? So, eight. Um, Fists of Fury, eight saves. Wow, look at that. I can... I'm getting good at like guesstimating dice. I don't, I don't know if anyone realised, but I'm doing it quite a lot recently. What you realise is it's not really editing, it's using the Hellstorm time machine to just slow down reality and it can just do that and then speeds the camera up. True story. Or I'm just watching lots of dice. Who knows? <laughs> so four up saves on the scouts. I lose one, two, three. So, um, the three of them are dead. I'm probably going to kill those two. And then I'm going to kill him. But wait, then you got the power claw. Power claw, but it all happens at the same time. So the power claw is at minus one to hit. Yep, so you know, fours, one hit. Two's to, is it, is it it's basically it's minus three, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically so it's a power fist. Two's to kill. Squirrel dead. Sweet. And then we, uh, mosey on round and go, <gasps> hello, you're not running away from us. It's a big three inch, that Neil. Well, thank you. With the guy with the, uh, the chain sword, well, combat weapon, so he gets threes to hit. And then falls to wound. So, no wounds. Hooray! Ooh. I probably shouldn't have attacked next because you do have the truck, but. I do, but oh, well. that's just details. Just details. So, do you want to attack with the truck? I do. Do you know what he does? Nope. Brilliant! There's <laughs> normal vehicles, except the weapon skill five rather than six. So, it's three attacks. They're just more spiky. Yeah. So, two hits. And strength is six. So cool. three's three to wound. Two wounds. Two wounds. Two four up saves. I do pass them both. Oh. Because you don't have any call call extra minus one or anything, do you? No. No, if I had actually the wrecking ball that's on it. Um, oh god. Yeah. Yeah. Wrecking ball pretty good. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like a wrecking ball. Nice. Literally like a wrecking ball. Perfect. Anyway. So I'll do my attacks back, so I get six attacks, because I've got uh, three normal guys and the sergeant gets two attacks, plus his chainsaw. All hit. Hmm. Wounded on fives. Well, that's five wounds. Could be a dead truck. <laughs> not quite. Well, no, that'll be, hey, that'll be funny, funny though. Damage, yeah. No. And he takes four wounds. Four wounds! Clang, clang. That, that was decent, that's to be fair. Orc trucks, boys, orc trucks. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. For now. For now. So I've got a morale check. I'm hoping to fail it. I hope you don't. I'm minus four. I'm leadership eight, so I need to roll a five or a six. One. Roll five. I'm gonna I'm you. gonna double check it. I think it's pretty I'm pretty sure it's you can. You may re-roll morale. Well, if you've rolled three attacks, so you must be the sergeant. He's a sergeant, it's leadership eight. Yeah. So we'll have a look. So Neil, it says I can. Yeah. We're off Scouts leadership nine or something, doesn't But it? I'm just saying it, I just had to check. I was like, can you imagine if scouts were accidentally leadership nine and no one realised until today? Gotta to be brave for all that sneakiness. Yeah. He's failed morale, so he's pulling straight out. 
not happy about that, are you, Neil? No, because you've been boring in your castle and the... Well, I'm an Ultramarines player. This is the playstyle of Space what? Marines now. Ultra what? Exactly. Ultramarines. There's Ultra colour balance on this table. There is, look. <laughs> too, too bright, clearly. <laughs> so, that's the end of your turn. Do you score any cards? Uh, oh, I forgot about that. Master the Warp will be one of them. I did. So I get Master the Warp. Yeah. You don't get the loot because it's over here still with my Razorback. I don't get here we go either. No, because you only made two charges rather than three. Interesting I'm, stuff. I'm going to get rid of grab the loot. Okay. Because I ain't got enough on that side of the table. To try and grab it. To grab it. And I'm kind of getting in his castle at piecemeal at the moment, which is a little on the frustrating side. Yeah. But. It's one of those things, isn't it? With, with this sort of build, it's just so much DACA. Yeah. Like, you've got Daka 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 Daka. It's a lot of quality firepower you've got, though, and it's... Yeah. Yeah. Really needed that scout to not run away there. Realistically, that would have been... Having these right there would have been really, really nice. But they're not going to be right there in two minutes. Probably not. <laughs> so, with that, we'll draw some cards and go into the Space Marine, turn two. Right, so end of the movement phase, I'll just go over the cards. I've got hold the line and for the Emperor and Blood and Gut. So I'm gonna make some charges got and time. I've got to hold the line, which I automatically get because everyone's still pretty much in my deployment zone. Am I in your deployment zone? Uh, I don't think so. The 12 inches. Bearing in mind the aggressors were 12 inches on and they haven't moved. Oh, that's lazy of them. It is lazy. Look how, look how fat the armor is. <laughs> so the tactical squad have lined up, ready to launch basically a firing line against those old boys because they're nasty. The scouts have pulled out of combat so I can shoot the truck and they can also still shoot the truck because they're ultramarines, they might as well to hit. You're not happy are you Neil? I'm going for some smashy though, because no, the Redemptor is going to punch the steamroller. He's not, he's going to get run over. He's going to like, he's going to uppercut it and then he's flip it over. what that does. Yeah. The scouts have stayed still, I probably should have moved them. But the smash captain is deep struck so he's in 9 inches of both of the wagons. I, wa I was going to go over here but I forgot about the Gretchen that were up there. Yeah. And then the flyer is going to go for that annoying little shock attack gun. Try. Because he's nasty. So, with that, we don't have a psychic phase. I realise, as, as we just said, I'm kind of playing a bit of a castle game. But it's kind of how this army army works now, yeah. sadly. Which is a shame. But it's, it's how most elite shooting armies work. You've got yeah. spread out, you're just going to get picked on. Yeah, exactly. Raven Guard used to be more fun, but we played Ultramarines now, so it's back to the good old of standing still and shooting until you die. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Tell me about it. <laughs> so it's the shooting phase coming up next. Scout shot into the truck. I got all but one hit, even though I'm minus one to hit, and then didn't wound. Hooray! But then I shot some scouts over here and the captain at the battle wagon. I did a wound with some bolt pistols. Mm. Bolters. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yes, indeed. So these guys are all going to rapid fire into there, and the sergeant is going to shoot both the flamer and the um, and the bolter, as you'd expect. Did you expect that, Neil? Yes. <laughs> so I'm freeze to hit with the bolters. New volley misses, thankfully. So one missed, and then falls to wound. Rerolling once. So it's three wounds so far, mate. So three six ups. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you dead? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we've got the bolter at minus one take, so I'm shooting both. So one hit, and I'll do the d6 flamer hits, which is a three, so four hits. Falls to wound. Two wounds. Uh, Rerolling once. Three wounds and one at minus one, so it's three more dead. Three more dead because you failed two saves and then one at minus one because I rolled six. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Um, I'm gonna shoot the this razor back next. I'm gonna put the assault cannon into the truck, and I'm gonna put the storm bolter into those guys. So storm bolter, I'm not in reroll range anymore, so I'm hitting on threes. Wow. Brilliant. That's amazing. That was absolutely great. You do that with the assault cannon as well, please. I can try. I'll do my best. Do it for your loyal followers. <laughs> Four, 12 shots. Hitting on threes. 
Well, I mean, it was okay. Missed five times. We didn't know, five, threes. Fours. Yeah, fours. So it's a six. So it's two wounds at minus one. So five ups. Takes two wounds. Takes two wounds, so he is down to four. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to do the Dreadnought next. This one is going to put the Twin Heavy Bolter into them. And he's going to put the Auto Cannon into the big Roller Boy. Did you expect that, Mr. Yeah. Neil? <laughs> Um, you know what? I'm, I'm telling a lie. I'm telling a lie. I'm going to do the aggressors next. Okay. We're going to see what we're in range of. Okay, so we're going to shoot. One guy is going to shoot both guns into those Gretchen. And then the other guy is going to shoot into them. Mm. Splitting fire works every time. Indeed. So I'll do D6 shots into the Gretchen. So four. Clean on 3 Z rolling. Daka daka. <laughs> Uh, wounded on twos. So it's one dead and three saves. Three six ups. So that's four dead. <laughs> <laughs> he, rolled, he rolled fives, Neil. He needed sixes. Just, just need to go that extra bit. So that one guy is going to take six more shots, re rolling. And then twos re rolling ones. I rolled a six, so he's dead. Oh. It kills another unit. Okay, and then into the old boys. So with the other guy, so D6 shots from the top. So we get five. Hit on threes. Re rolling. We know fours, re rolling ones. Re rolling ones. <laughs> There's two wounds. Three dead. Three dead. Uh, from the hands. Six shots. Re rolling misses. All hit. And then fours, re rolling ones. You're only ones. We can do it. So it's one dead and one more save. So it's two dead. And then they're going to make a second shooting attack because they haven't moved. Because it's getting awfully rude. Just be aware there's still a knob there. <laughs> yep, I'm just measuring. I've still got my knob out. Yep, so one guy's going to shoot into the death roll and the other guy's going to shoot into that knob, so I'm going to do it off camera. The has managed to finish off the knob. They do have two wounds, which is quite mm. cheeky. Mm. But also I shot two into there and did two wounds. And then Lieutenant Hellstorm shot into there and did another two wounds. That's what happens when you roll nothing but sixes. <laughs> Literally roll nothing but sixes. So, um, the Razorback is going to shoot into the back wagon. GT. The back wagon. But he's going to shoot the Storm Bolter at the front wagon. Because they're getting more shots. <laughs> <laughs> so, freeze to hit, re-rolling. So three hits. Sixes, re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones. Not I'll actually sixes. There's one wound on the battle wagon, it's minus one. Takes a wound from a Storm Bolter. Hooray! <laughs> Are you loving this game, Neil? I, I think the guys have come back to be normal, to normal me again. I'm having a great time if it helps. <laughs> Freeze tape with the assault cannon into the one at the back. Rerolling misses. So two missed. See that double six there, Neil? <laughs> these sixes coming up that I'm more worried. Five rerolling ones. So that's three six <laughs> and three fives. So three at minus one and three at minus two. So minus one, five ups. Takes, so, takes, takes a, wound. a wound. And three sixes. Three sixes. Takes four wounds altogether. Okay, and that's the one at the back. So. Yeah, because um, I want to punch it, that's why. <laughs> Purely because I want to pun punch it. It's my own anger that I need to do. However, speaking of anger. Yes. The Storm Hawk. He's going to shoot the assault cannons and the last talon into the big mech. Okay. And then he's going to shoot um, the sky hammers into him. Okay. Because why not? Is that right? Somebody wants to go to bed, don't they? <laughs> um, I'll do the it's not even sky. Time yet. Exactly. I've just had enough. I had enough, Neil. The so sky hammers first hit on fives. I'll reroll that because it's a little bit cocked. Nope. And then I'll do the last talon, which is the last cannon. One hit. Uh, twos, I presume. Tough yeah, he's tough as four, yeah. So one wound at minus three. Um, Does he have an six, invun? Got six up save. <laughs> invun or not? There's six wounds. Like that. That's him bedowed. Him dead? That is him dead. It's a shame. I wanted him to do more, but also minus five. I wanted him to do more as well. And get minus five and <laughs> getting potential strength something. 12. That would have been a bit horrific. 
Um, so we've got this. No, that really back. So we've got the dreadnought because I saved it. So the dreadnought is going to shoot into the battle wagon at the back. He would be able to see him if that card wasn't there. Yeah. So, <laughs> so four auto cannon shots. Uh, all, hit. all hit, cool. Thanks, man. Five to me, only once. Yeah. So how many sixes can we have? Probably how many of you dice you got in? Probably four. Nope. Can I have that dice so I get to reroll once? I've touched it now, so you got. So two points. wounds at minus one, and it's two damage each. So it's four damage. So he's, uh, he's lost eight. Yep. Yeah. And then I've got the bolters. Rerolling. That made up for it, didn't it? And then fives again. So that's two sixes there, two at minus two, and then one at minus one. What's this, sorry, from? Bolters at the uh, uh, battle bolters. against. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say bolters. Apologize. Bolters on fives. So two at minus two, two damage. Okay. And then another one at minus one. So three more wounds. So he has lost 11. So 11. Five. Okay, I've got the Redemptor left. And might the be, Hellbrin. Might be turn two tabling going on here. <laughs> I don't think so. The Hellbrin's really? going to shoot the truck <laughs> with all the guns. So he's got four auto cannon shots. Four D3, sorry. Uh, three's to hit. And then three's to wound. So it's one one wound at minus, minus one. Saves it. It saves it. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, I've got the Redemptor. I'm probably going to do most of the shots off camera because there's just so many dice. And I, whilst I have been rolling hard, I think that's probably the end of it. So we'll do that off camera, then we'll come into the charge phase. Guys, so in the shooting, we did a couple of wounds to each one. This one now has got five wounds. This one's three wounds. A couple. A couple. <laughs> it's been a bit horrific. Oh, just oh, bolt fire. All plates are falling off. I mean, fair enough. As I said that with the with the castle with all the re rolls, but the toughest eight, and I'm still getting. I'm just rolling sixes. It's just horrific. So it's like minus two everywhere. It's not fair. I've got the Daka Daka rule, and I'm not rolling sixes. I wish I had the Daka rule. You see my dice, mate. However, it is the charge phase. I'm going to try and charge a smash captain I'm into gonna, the back wagon. I'm going to shoot you with some backhanded uh, yeah. stubbers. Here we go. So, so you only on. see, you see minus one to hit because <laughs> it's sixes. There's threes on that one. Yeah. The so sixes to hit. Daka Daka. Re rolling ones. And you're getting so. three extra shots because the Daka Daka does work in the Overwatch phase. Yeah. Brilliant. I'm gonna kill your smash captain with horrific bullets. Three's to wound. So it's two wounds. Two three up saves. There uh, it takes a wound. Haha, I didn't see that coming, did you? And, and the cannon. Good. The big cannon. Is three shots. Cool. Just forgetting what I was rolling my dice for then. Indeed. Nope. No hits. Okay. It's a nine inch charge. So I did deep strike this turn. You ready, Neil? Mm. Four and a four. Re I'm gonna CP. I think I'm down to like four now, maybe three. Mm, yeah, you're not really. Let's say three. No. I yeah, do get a six. A I'm in with a ten. Very, very tasty. So he's gonna go to there. The Redemptor is gonna pick up that steamroller and throw him. Oh wait, he's not an Imperial Knight. Would you like to watch? Yeah. So, so four I've big got shooters. Four big shooters on this chap. Very nice. So six is to hit. Yes. We roll my ones. We rolling ones. You got a six. Daka daka. We rolling ones. Hey, yeah. They just love it when they say you can't re-roll a re-roll. You have to roll a dice like five times. Does it wound? I can't re-roll that one, can I? No. Charge range. So four. Um, I pretty think because the death roller is part of that model, so if you're within five of um, the death roller. Yeah, so I'm within. F I'm technically within five of the roller. Which is part of that specific model, so yeah. it would apply. Would it count? Would, it would count. Well, I've been using it for movement, so I would have thought so. Okay, that's the end of the charge phase. Looking a bit nasty for the Space Marines. Yeah, it's looking worse for the Orcs. It is looking worse <laughs> for the Orcs, but it's the fight phase coming up next. Guys, the Smash Captain is going to start. This could hurt. This could hurt you a little bit. You can do three wounds to a battle wagon. He might be able to. I hope he, he does hit you. on threes. I hope he kills you in an explosion. Re-rolling ones. 
Yeah. Space Marines put broken codex in the game, right? <laughs> no, Orcs are the most OP codex in the game. So, uh, force the wound. You just get one wound, and it's minus three, and it does three damage. Ah. That is literally perfect. Do you blow up? No, no you don't, thank God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That would have been bad for both of us, I think. I've got 20 oaks inside. 20 oaks. 20 big oaks coming in. Hopefully little oaks, otherwise they're not all getting out. <laughs> <laughs> so, ones. You lose three. Yep. That's not terrible. That's not too bad. Average. Actually, better than average, because it'd be too spare. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. So we'll jump them out, and then uh, I'm going to attack with the Remptor. You guys have jumped out of the battle wagon there. I don't think I'm going to pile into you, considering you are the combat ones. Had you been the shooter ones, I might have considered it. They've got guns. They do have sluggers, but they've got them big old choppers as well. So now I'm going to strike with the Redemptor. No, you know. Unless... Oh, I'm going to interrupt. Yeah, I probably should have gone with the Redemptor first, thinking about it. I got too excited so, with the Smash Cap to make that 10-inch. That's going to put me down to three command points. Three command points. Nice. I think I have three as well. Mm. Something like that. So... The Death Roller. I now am bracketed, so I get D6 attacks now. Hmm. Here we go. So here's my D6 attacks. You get four attacks. Plus Warpath, so you will be on five. I'm going to stick with that. Yeah, I would as well. So your, BS, your weapon skill five, yep. but the Death Roller does. Gives me plus three to my attack roll. Wow. So hits on twos. Nearly you're really good at rolling twos. I'm really good at rolling ones as well, which I'm really Don't say that. Don't say that. So two's so. to hit. The bone breaker. One missed. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's no. not bad. See strength seven. Strength seven. It falls to wound. Mm. Here we go. Already He's nervous. Ray need this to happen. Here we go. Falls to wound. Crunchy crunchy. Get um, three wounds. Oh, it's a 50-50 if I command point that. What minus is it? Two. Minus two. two we'll put me on a five up. Yeah, but you've not been rolling any fives or sixes all game, so you know, it's, it's almost guaranteed damage, isn't it? It's pretty much guaranteed damage, Neil. He said sarcastically. As you much know? as I'm running out of CPs, because this will put me on two, I'm also yeah. running out of orcs. Yeah, <laughs> so makes sense. I might not have any orcs left to use these last two CPs on anyway, so I'm going to CP it for the damage. Does get it. <laughs> so it's four five up saves. Easy, right? Come on. I have Come on. I, let's be fair, my dice has been pretty horrific. Well, do you want me to roll these? No, it's okay. <laughs> so fail them all. Hey. Is that eight damage? That's eight damage. Wow, that puts me down to two. Wacka wacka. Brilliant. Squishy, squishy. Actually brilliant. So I don't know what I'd do anymore because I'm at two wounds. I'm pretty sure I'll probably hit on fives. Yeah. I'll double check. I'm going to use lightning fast reflexes as well. Cool. Weapon skill movement and ballistic skill when he takes wounds. Good enough. So he hits on fives now with his four attacks. I get two hits. I mean, it was obvious that really, wasn't it? Yeah. You're strength 14, Neil. Yeah, but I'm toughness 8 still. Yeah, so he wounds on threes. It's one wound. I don't know what the minus is, because I can't see it. I think it's minus three. Uh, it's minus three. It's d6 damage. Well, I wrote four up save. So I need a five or a six. Which dice shall I roll? You take the one I, you don't want me to roll. Okay, which one am I got? Not roll this one, okay. <laughs> So two nil. Not just me. <laughs> <laughs> so he's down to three. He's down to three wounds. That was um that was that wasn't good <laughs> for the space breed there. Can I swap dice please? No. I want, I want the blue dice. I want, I want, I want the lucky these dice. These are my dice. I want the blue lucky dice. These are Mikey's dice. Only Mikey uses the blue dice. Okay, so yeah, that was that the shooting was horrific. Yeah. The combat was okay. And then backfired. No, back rolled. Back roll, rolled, indeed. Back. We rolled back. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the end of the Space Marines' turn. Um, I do score hold the line, because I have three units in my deployment. I have, like, all of them in my yeah. deployment. Um, I don't get for the Emperor, because... Oh, I do, sorry, because I made a charging infantry unit. You did? With him. And I also get blood and guts, because I killed the unit in combat. Yeah. So, not too bad, so I'm on four or five points for first strike. Yeah. I'm on two. I'm two. I might, so I might go for Warlord this turn. I mean, he's only there. He's, he's only not there. far away. So, with that, it's Orcs turn three coming up next. That's 
the end of the movement for the Orcs. They've all advanced. Mm. Got busy. Got busy. Do you want to? Um, no, you yeah, want to go with them? Yeah, I've got some more boys to get involved. So when you advance with an orc, if they're within six for warboss, they can still charge afterwards. Which is super good. Yeah. So these guys have all advanced. So they can whip round, start shooting all this. You've got a warboss. The hard boys are over here, they've advanced out. They've got a six. They're not hard boys, they're knobs. They're knobs. Well, they're they, they're like hard boys because they're all the armour. Well, yeah, that's because they're, they're knobs. knobs. They're, yeah. The bad move knobs, then, they can afford the armour. Yeah, and then you've got the uh, warboss there so you can charge again. Mm. And all these guys have got out of the truck. Yeah, we're gonna come out of words with big Mr. sort of legs. Mr. Legs, yeah. His legs. Yes, indeed. And his dacker. <laughs> so, that's the end of the movement phase. It's gonna be interesting to turn. It's not looking good for the Orcs, but they are they're very in my face now, so I just need to survive. Yeah, and, and. We did forget about cards, Cough, we did. We got oh, Stomp and Boys. It's gone with victory point if an enemy unit was destroyed during the fight phase this turn. So D3 of three to five, or D3 plus three of six. Secure objective five, which is that one over there. Grots. So Grots have got Grots it. Finally and then off. here we go, make three charges this turn, which I think is going to be a lot easier than last turn. We'll see. Yeah, I'll be ready to charge now. <laughs> yes, indeed. So it's the shoot, uh, the psychic phase coming up next. Okay, guys, it's the psychic phase for the for the weird boy, Zaphead or whatever it's called, Warped. Warped. So you're going to try and smite me out of combat? I'm going to try and smite. It go may for just it. happen to hit the Redemptor. Yeah, you get plus one because you've got 16 models within uh, 10 inches. It does go off on an eight. D3 model wounds. So That's one. getting command pointed. <laughs> That's a one. Mm. Yes. Two. Now. I don't care if you blow up. Blow do I use armour of contempt? No, you don't. Is it worth it on a two wound dreadnought? I don't think it is to be fair, I think no, it's probably no, more worth it over You've got a handful of CPs left anyway, you might need them for keeping Gabriel alive and not getting slapped around the face with a massive chopper from a knob. It's alright, because I'll just blow up and kill everybody, how about that? Well you don't kill everybody. You're not going to kill anybody. No, I'm not going to kill everybody. Ever again. Never mind, so that's the Redemptor dead. What a waste. What a waste. You're a waste. <laughs> <laughs> is that the end of the psychic phase or would you just like to cast another power? I'd like to cast another power. What would you like to cast? I'd like to see if I can see your smash captain. No, I can't see Smash Captain, so... That would make the closest model Lieutenant. Right then, so we're going to do, <laughs> do Headbang. I thought you might. So it's cast on an 8, cast yep. on a 7, because so of a plus. plus 1. Does go off on an 11. It doesn't blow his head up either, because that's not that's a 12. 11, yeah. So all I have to do here, simply, is roll more than a 4. So you need to roll a 5 or a 6. And then he's dead. Here we go. So you got a six. <laughs> hey guys, the truck shot into the scouts and killed one. All these sluggers shot into here and actually did three wounds. It's pretty yeah. tasty. Small arms fire is king in this game. It's it is. Simple. It is always weighted dice. <laughs> these guys advanced and they can't shoot. Yeah, they only uh, have pistols. He missed because he advanced, so he's minus one to hit. Yeah. Uh, these guys can't shoot because they advanced Balls as well. Advanced. Uh, War boss has he's got his flame it, but the battle wagon, death, the skull crush out. Yeah. The brain bone breaker. Yeah. He's gonna go into the aggressors with all his super shooters. He's just shooters. Sorry, not super shooters. So. Are you still BS5? Uh I don't think the BS actually deteriorates. I imagine it wouldn't, to be fair. No, it doesn't. Cool. I mean So four hit, three yeah. rolling ones. No one, no one one. One one. Comes a five. Very nice. And then three more shots. Oh! Look at that, and three more shots. Crikey. So four to wound. That's One's cocked. Bit, that's a bit cocked. Four wounds. Uh, oh, five wounds. Five wounds. That, that's enough to kill him. It is enough. Uh, yeah, it is. So three ups. I'll take a wound. Obviously it doesn't, but you know. Correct. <laughs> so that's going to take one wound. All right. Okay. And then you got the super blunderbuss. I'm going to shoot your smashy captain. You're going to shoot the smash actually, captain? No, because you're not going to shoot the scouts? I might shoot the scouts, yeah. I was going to say, because this could actually just blow his <laughs> face just off. Blow, yeah. So that's nine, nine shots. shots. Oh, maybe you should have shot the smash captain. Mm. No. I'm okay. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Threes? Yes. Yeah, it's not a great four conversion. Wins. Four wounds and four five ups. One, so it's Two dead. Two dead. Boop, boop. Good enough. Hey, it's not too bad, mate. Not terrible, could have been worse. Yeah. I would have passed them all, should I what was I a smash captain? Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of the shooting, I believe. It is. 
So let's think about how we're going to do some cheeky charges around here. He's going to go into the scouts. How many wounds does the truck have left? Is it two? It is two or three. Two. Oh. Could be three. Red Red watch. I got one hit. I don't wound. So charge range is like two inches. Squamp. Okay. What's next? Boys. Boys? Into the Helverin. Into Leggy Boy. Okay. <laughs> so we got four D3 shots from the auto cannons. So Bonus. that becomes two. Eight that becomes two. And another two shots. I'll re roll two of them because I ain't got enough dice out now. Yeah. So six is to hit. Re roll two of them for the two that I didn't have. One hit. Uh, threes. One wound. It's minus one, so it's one dead. Point. And then the heavy stubber. One hit. Fours. So one wound. No. One normal save. No. Kills another one. Point. Charge range, Mr. Neil. That's a double one. It's a good job I've got here we go, innit? Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, it's Neil again. Here we go. Oh, Neil. Neil. I'll okay. try that. See if this works. See if that lucky dice work. <laughs> here we go. Seven. Well, I'm gonna say if you're on double six, people will start questioning my dice, I think. I'm already questioning your dice <laughs> on a daily basis. You're definitely in. Yeah, so we'll pile them in now, guys. So guys, these guys have gone to here. So shutting the hell is shooting down for at least a turn. What's next? Against all potential strong advice, I'm going to charge the knobs into, into the those line. three units. The problem I've got is I could charge them mm -hmm. and could pile into them, into the aggressors. Yeah. But then the aggressors get to punch me. Yeah. And I'm going to be close enough for Gabriel to come in either this turn or next anyway to hit me. Yeah. Might as well just engage them all and then hit the uh, aggressors with a power claw first. It's a good shout. The other problem, they do shoot twice. They do. And I've warned him against it off camera. But they do hit on sixes twice. Yes. <sighs> Are you sure? Got to. Got to. <laughs> He's saying it, 2d6 shots on top, so 4 to start with, so 6 is re-rolling, 1 hit, doesn't wound, see it's not too bad, so I'll do the top 2 again, 2d6 shots, 5 shots this time, missed, missed, see it's not too bad, <laughs> and I'm going to get some more dice, hopefully kind meals. So oh, 24, 24 shots, look at all these sixes that are hanging around in there. Oops. 24 shots, hitting on sixes re rolling because they get to shoot twice. Uh, so it's 12 shots each. So I get four hits so far. Let's chuck that out of the way. That's a wound dice, that one. Yeah. Eight hits. Fourth wound. Uh, no re rolls. So it's four saves. Okay. Thank you. What save did they have? Uh, I believe it's still only a six up, but I'll roll it and we'll come back and check. Because it didn't really matter. <laughs> so two are dead. Two are dead. Uh, shall I do the tactical squad as well? Yeah, you might as well okay. over there. So I've got 12 shots from the bolters, plus D6 from the head flamer. Roll it here now. So six is re rolling. So two hits so far. Stop rolling sixes. <laughs> I'm trying. I'll roll another two. That's four hits. I'll put the flavour in there as well, so D6 auto hits. So another three. Uh, four. So that is one, two, three, four, five saves. Hmm. So that's. Uh, it does depend how many saves they've got. How many? Well, I've rolled three five so far. Yes. Otherwise, it's eight dead. No, they got two wounds each. Oh, they got two wounds each. Okay. It's four dead. Okay, that's good. Essentially. Gabriel is going to throw a frag grenade. D six shots. He gets a six. Stop rolling sixes. <laughs> sixes. Do you want to say it again? No, they heard me the first time. <laughs> so two hits. Five to win this time. One wound. Obviously. One save, normal save, whatever that may be. No. Nope. So you've taken nine wounds, or six if they've got a five-up save. Lovely. We'll check that and we'll come back. 
four up save, not a five up or a six up. Brilliant. So being in armour makes sense. The more you know. Because the knobs. So there we go. So it's a charge range nail. Probably need like a three or four inch to get into everything. Hat oh, in there. Right at the end. Power claw, I imagine, goes to yeah, there. Power claw goes straight. <laughs> he goes to the there. He goes to there. And then we'll decide. Shout out. Oh, go on then, I'll let you move in. I don't know what big choppers do, so me neither. Let's just see if we can. Hooray! Let's just see what we can do. Cool. I, I imagine there's some charging over he here. Wants to go there because I'm going to see if that war boss can also get into the tactical marines. Okay, sure. Go for it. Due to the fact that because he advanced and he's also within six inches of himself. Yeah, and he has. Here we go. Do you want to roll the tip? Do you want to? Let's just see how far it is. You've got a three. It's nine, it's a nine inch charge. Inch charge. I'm going to reroll. I'm not. Re it. I'm not rerolling one just for a six. Go for it. You rolled a seven, that's unlucky. Okay, okay. It, was, it was the thought that counts. Over here, what would you like to charge um, first? That. You're gonna charge that into the smash, Captain? Yeah. Got you okay. throw a grenade at me. Crack grenade! Misses. I think you're in. Beep, beep. Brum, brum. Beep, <laughs> beep. Very nice. I like how the roller rolls. Actually rolls. James has done a fantastic job. Okay. Which one's next? Um, big boy, boys. big boy. Boys. Yes. Charge both. I'm going to charge both. Cool. So overwatch with the uh, scouts. Think I'm out of six for re rolls. Two hits. <laughs> <laughs> Stop rolling sixes. <laughs> <laughs> no wounds. <laughs> now I get a, you get a nine. nine. Yeah, so you get play. We'll do the movement, then we'll come back with the final charge. Orcs doing what orcs do best touching everybody on the table that they can. <laughs> so they've trapped them in combat, got into Smash Captain, War Boss charges in with a four. Steps up, literally steps up. That's it. So that is the end of the charge phase. Mr. Neil, where would you like to start? I do have, I would say, I've got three CP left. I'm going to start with the Death Crusher. Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher. Battle Wagon, because you... Bone Crusher. Debatable whether what's going to happen down there is even going to work to start with, so... Yeah. yeah, true. Down here, I want to run him over. Okay, so you get d6 attacks. So, four attacks. And, because I've charged this time. Yes. I get d6 attacks. Extra. You get an extra d6 attacks when you charge? Yeah. That is horrific. It's really good. <laughs> To five. To five. To actually Ooh. manage to land on the stones and not get caught. So I got nine. Nine attacks that hit on twos. Yeah. Oh my lord. How's that shield holding up? It is in a shield of, of the Eternal. Has uh, any of our viewers here ever seen or ever played the original Dark Souls and gone into the uh, bone wheels? The bone wheels. Oh my god, they're horrific. That's pretty much what's about to happen to the Smash Captain. Here we go. How good is that stamina of yours? <laughs> Two missed, not too bad. Strength seven, so three to wound. Nice, six wounds. At minus, well, it don't matter, but each one's two damage. You've yeah. only got four wounds left. If you fail two of these. I'll have two wounds left, because I've got shield eternal, don't forget. I have no idea what that even does. Halves all damage. Well, I've failed four of them. Then. I failed two. So should I have not had the shield eternal, I would have died. But I take two wounds, so I'm down to two. I was almost going to put a giant red smear on that roller then. Yeah. Now, I've got a couple of questions to ask. Do I want to interrupt? I'm pretty sure I do want to interrupt, but who with? You might want to ask me what the knobs do first, because I have no idea. <laughs> I think I am going to interrupt with Gabriel. So I'm going to spend two, so I'm down to one CP. I'm going to attack with his thunder hammer. I'm going to go, I do have two profiles, he does have a swinging attack, but it's only every model within him, so he'll still only have four attacks and it's strength six at minus one. So I'm going to go with the big, the big boy attacks. You ready for the big boy attacks? Yeah, I suppose. So he's going for the thunder hammer. Three's to hit. We rolling one, so two missed. That's unfortunate. Well, yeah. And then it's twos to kill. Maybe. If I roll a six, it's mortal wound as well. So it's just two dead. It's minus two, minus three, sorry, and three damage each. Yeah. I'm sorry, Neil. Don't be. Don't be. I'm a terrible person. Well, we know that. 
So that's two bodies dead. By the, by the magic of um, chaos theory. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to attack back with them or would you like to attack back with something else? Because you get to do all your I attacking all units. Attacks, anyway. So I can't um, interrupt anymore. I'm going to do the knobs because we're there. The knobs? My knobs are already there. The knobs, it's got the page open. We've got the page so open. So you've got power claw and you've got four big choppers, I presume? Well, two of them got like teeth. I imagine they're just all big choppers. Yeah, they're big choppers. Yeah. There were six big choppers in the unit and a yeah. power claw and the rest were just uh, bladed wounds. Cool. Right then. Not with the power claw, we will do him first. Yep, yeah, in two. You can attack, he's you can pile the aggressors. Okay. So he gets three attacks. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he's hitting on fours because he's minus one. Sure. So it's one hit. And its strength is ten. So twos. So it's minus three. Minus three. So six up save, which I fail. So it's this one guy dead because oh, they got one wound. I presume it's D3 damage. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. Basically a power fist. Cool. Yeah, so that's so that's that one dead because the only other one left anyway. Yeah. So choppers. So three attacks from the big chopper into the tactical squad. Yeah. He's hitting on threes. Two three hits. Two hits. Uh, he's wounded. He is strength uh, seven, I believe. Nice. So three to wound. There's two, two wounds. Minus. Minus one and two damage. Cool. So four ups. So one dead. Get chopped. <laughs> cool. So that and then you got three other ones. Nine attacks on the It's Gabriel. a big game. Okay. Now, this, this is actually potentially quite good. It is quite good. He's got six wounds. Five wounds. Five wounds. Well, this yeah. could be very good. They might have six wounds, I can't remember. He's two damage, so if I fail three, he's definitely dead. <laughs> well, this is it. So. Two's to wound. Uh, three's to wound. Strength seven. Oh, strength seven, yeah, not strength ten. There's four wounds. So potentially eight damage. Potentially eight damage. He goes nothing. Uh, minus one. Minus one. So three ups. Cocked. Two damage. Hmm. Satisfactory, I believe that is. Uh, not very thick. I'm pretty sure he's got five or he's got five or six. I think I'm I pretty mean, sure he's got an extra. So I'm pretty sure he got an extra one from the fact that he's basically Darth Vader. But there you go. Yeah. So we'll sort that out. We'll be back with the next combat. Guys, they're going into the Hellbrain next. We've kind of cut to the chase. We've piled in and we've consolidated in. So it's just basically going for the bubble wrap. I've even counted my dice. Go for it. So, so it's three to hit. Three missed. Nice. Uh, four missed. Four missed. Yes, I'm, not, I'm not quite that good. <laughs> so five to lose, which has four. Yep. So wow. a lot of sixes. Wow. Has anybody seen me ever roll? that good. I've been I gave him a quick a magic rub before <laughs> before he rolled them clearly. Wow. How many is that? Eleven. Eleven saves on that this could kill him. For all if I roll like a Neil, you've just rolled like Give me. Give me, me, me let me make them. No. <laughs> <laughs> so three up saves. So I take wow. three wounds. They want them legs. Yes they do. They so want he's down to legs. eight I believe he, he's not quite degraded another two wounds he'll degrade. So power club. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Power claw. Hit on fours. Two hits. hits. Threes to wound. Uh, yeah, uh, e, 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 no, strength ten. Yeah, threes to wound. Yeah, threes to wound. Two wounds. Crumb. Two six up saves. I didn't make one, so oh, I take three wounds. Rolling sickness. <laughs> <laughs> take three wounds. Oh, yeah, because it's not straight three. Apologise. It's get, power fist. Get crumb. Nice, so that's five wounds. Lovely. Cool. And. You've next. got all this. War boss. Wow, boss. Wow, boss. I don't know what they do. <laughs> he's got a power claw. I imagine he's got like four attacks and he hits on twos. So he hits on twos, he's got a power claw. Yep. And he's got four attacks. <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? I can't literally guess. The same as a captain. So these are threes because of the power claw. Yeah. So two hits. Um, I don't think he gets rolls, he rolls of anything either. No. Yeah, to wound. Uh, uh, he, uh, yeah, his strength is twelve, so wait, right, that's that's two. Definitely two wounds. It's two, two, three up in ones. I made them both. Awesome. It was a double six, Neil. Not that it mattered that it was a six. But I did make them both. Yeah. I'm and now you got all the boys. I've got two wounds left. Right then. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in combat, and then the rest into the scouts. How many attacks did they get each? Two normally. Yeah. And then one extra for the chopper. Not too bad, quite a few. Back in a second. Attacks. Some. I think it's 21. Probably. 
Hitting on threes. threes. Not too shabby. I'm literally three boys off of hitting on twos as well, which is it's a shame. It's unlucky. Strength is four. And four, so four's the wound. How many limbs does that smash captain have? <laughs> Probably not many after this. I'm, I'm reckoning they're going to pull them all off. Maybe. Four's the wound. Oh! A fine spread there. Yeah. So that is... Eight. Look at that. He's Get failed two. I'm going to use my last CP. Good. Get dead. Three up. Oh, he's only got to made it. <sighs> so he's on one wound. <sighs> How's your way? Is that all your attacks done? <laughs> um, I know. I've got, to, I've got to poke the scales. As much as I don't want to, I've got to. Yeah, you have. <clears throat> so I'll do the knob. I'll do the power claw knob. He gets two hits. Two hits. Cocked. Three hits. Three hits. Strength ten. Get wrecked. Yeah, three dead. Crumb, crumb. Cool. Can't sneak past me, Ubi. No. Is that all your attacks now? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yes. Oh, no. I don't your truck. Yeah, no, your truck. No, Obviously truck. not. Truck gets the... Probably one attack now. One attack now, which hits on fives. Hits. Strength is six. Was it wound? Yeah. Cool. He obviously ran you over the soft, squishy bumper. Clearly. So I get all my attacks back now. Mm. So, these guys into the truck. All hit. <laughs> you have done more damage to that truck <laughs> in combat than shooting it. Two wounds. Don't fail them both. No, no you passed. Pass one. Passed them both. Oh, I got oh, four of saves. Safe. It's got heavy cool. armor on. So nice. Okay. okay. So, these guys are going to pile in. So I'll probably get like, they'll probably get, not quite make it. So I get two attacks on normal dudes and three from the side. He's got a chainsaw. We roll the misses. One miss. Uh, pulse. Three wounds. So three four up saves. Failed Ooh. two. You lose one. Poke an orc out. He does poke an orc out. You love me orc out. Yeah. Um, okay. Are you sure you want to pull that one? It pulls pull. you out of combat though. It does. It? You could pull this one out instead. Yeah, I'd go on then. But at least, yeah, put him in his place. So at least if I do pull out, I'll be minus one to hit. Mm. And then Smashy Boy. You like Smashy Boy, don't you? He's entertaining. <laughs> and I put one attack into the into the wagon. <laughs> and then three attacks into the war boss. One attack into the wagon. Hits on threes. Wins on fours. Does wound. Oh dear. Does it blow up? Yes. <laughs> no. no. Okay. That's so that's true. that destroyed. Oh. And then three attacks into the wall boss. Hitting on threes. We rolling ones. So three hits. Uh, threes. Five. So it's two wounds, but you don't have a four pin vulnerable because of your relic. Super I cool armor. armor. Oh, it's a wall of trait. Sorry, not a relic. You do I fail two. Fail them both. So it takes six wounds. That probably means he just possibly killed me, war boss. Yeah, he's only got six wounds. Neil, do you use CP? I suppose. Yeah. You, Four you up. know I'm going to fail this anyway. Fifty fifty. Blue dice. I want a lucky dice. I want a look, that lucky dice. There's an SM one there. I'll do. They're, they've got a bit of a reputation on the channel. Well, may Pardo's blessings be amongst me. No, nope, clearly not. <laughs> 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 That's him dead. I'm going to double check what the Hellring does in combat. Okay, so the Hellbring's gonna go now. He, gets, he still has four attacks. He doesn't degrade his attack, he just degrades movement, weapon skill, and BS. Uh, so he's weapon skill four now. So two hits. Three to wound, page time six. Does a wound. Ha! Hooray, the Hellbring is stuck. Finally stop rolling sixes. Stuck, boy. Okay, I think that's the end, Neil. That was a bit of a long combat phase, but I suppose it is a lux after all. Um, I take it you're not choosing to have the aggressor in combat. If you could see my face right now. <laughs> They're definitely staying out of combat there. He's not going to pile in. So, because he can literally just stand still and shoot twice again. Yeah, he could. He didn't have to. Yeah. He could. It's what skews the power level of the Space Marines is aggressors against the right target. They're just absolutely horrific. <laughs> but, yeah. there you go. So, what, right. what cards do you get? Right, so for here we go. Or here we go. Here we go. I got one charge. One charge, two, two charge. charge, three charge, four charge, five charge. Five charge, six, six charge. charge. 
I've run out of fingers. Seven charge, eight charge. Where was the eight charge? Well, there were three units, weren't there? That's only one charge, though. Uh, yeah, so it's how many units do you charge with? Well, so it's five. There three there. Three there, four, five. Four, five, six. 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 So that gets me uh, D3. D3, very good. One. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, I do screw J25. Yeah, with the Gretchen. Stomp them, boys. Uh, da, 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 da. So, units killed in the fight phase. You killed. Scouts. Scouts. Yes. Oh, I get a victory point. You get points. You get three points. points. Get a point. You're on five. Yeah. To my six, I think. Plus Warlord. Plus First Strike. So, I'll double check. We'll double check at the start of the movement. Probably more than five. <laughs> Maybe more than five. So, you're on five. I'm probably on six or seven. Whilst I still have quite a lot, I do still have the Razorbacks and the Dreadnoughts, to be fair, that's quite a good firing firing base to have. Yeah, you've definitely got enough bullets, or as many bullets as I have Orcs. Yes, indeed. Because that thing's still untouched there, pretty much. Pretty much, and that's going to have to just fly around and start... Killing stuff. Yeah. We'll see what it can do in Blood Ravens turn three. Sad Orc. Is it turn three? It's your turn three. This is horrific. Uh, it's turn three, coming up, guys. <laughs> three cards for me it's on the chapter just confirm on I'm on seven points can you just confirm what chapter you are no I'll honor it though <laughs> select one victory point if any character has lost a wound as a result of the attack made by one of your characters or if I kill one I get d3 points Emperor's Retribution score d3 points to control an update to market that's controlled by your opponent and big game hunter kill unit at ten or more wounds the big game hunter is gonna be that truck that's on like two wounds yeah. um, basically this guy has flown out of combat so I can start shooting these Kinda expected. These guys have pulled out of combat. He stood still so I can shoot them. How rude. Kinda expected. <laughs> and this is all just sat still. It's a bit of a a bit of a fish in a barrel type situation at the minute. A little bit. I the, mean the Stormhawk's flown over, he's probably just gonna try and shoot the truck. But Yeah. It's kind of been one of those games where I've just got to add a little bit of ridiculous luck. Yeah, I've been a bit too bitty, I think. Yeah. That's my, that, that's been my problem. I've not gone in as a commitment. I've gone in with a couple of units at a time, just mostly because I've been funneled in the terrain. Yeah. But exactly. I set that up, so it's been a bit <laughs> You did set the board. <laughs> Which is ironic. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with the scouts. We're going to rapid fire into the truck. Hitting on fours, because I pulled out of combat. Two hits. Wounded on fives. No wounds. I, Neil, I didn't roll a single six then, I rolled ten dice. I'm going to pull my dice down, because I didn't have any dice in my hand then, in, in presumption of wounds coming in. So if <laughs> I just stand here with no dice, no dice, yes, you indeed. might not hurt me at all. No. So these five are going to shoot into the uh, knobs. So obviously I am minus one to hit. However, I'm going to shoot the bolter and the flamer. So it's fives to hit with that, re-rolling ones and two, so Gabe. So I get two hits, obviously. <coughs> I get another eight shots hitting on fours, so I'll just pull these here. Uh, re rolling ones and twos. And then I get D6 extra shots from the flamer. So I get another four. That's a lot of shots. That's and a lot of hits. A lot of That's a lot of damage. It's false wound. No re rolls. I've got lots of sixes though. I'll pick up some dice then. <laughs> So it's four, three saves and four at minus one because of Storm of Fire. So it's such a good wall of trait. It's four horrific. Four at minus one. Yeah. That's that two. Dies. Yeah. What? Which one would you like to kill? Uh, this guy. Yeah, the back. And then three normal. Three normal ups. saves. So yeah. Three four ups. Kills another one and a half. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. Put a resume. No, it's a chuck of dice. I'll stay with the strength for just in case I need to crump some vehicles. Yeah. Gabriel Angelos is going to throw a crack grenade. Frag grenade. He's going to throw his hammer. Yeah, four shots. This is his hammer being thrown across the room. <laughs> Hitting on twos. You roll in. Get out. Moves <laughs> on fives. <laughs> One wound. So he's dead. One more save. He's lost. passed. That was a little bit horrific. You're a little bit horrific. I've been absolutely <laughs> horrific. Welcome to Hellstorm Wargaming, all the new people who've joined 
for this brand new bat report. Orcs are great. Orcs are great. Maybe I My should have. My dice rolling is poor. <laughs> Maybe I should have played the orcs here. <laughs> no, not with Daka Daka Daka. <laughs> So this Razorback is going to shoot the Stormbolter into the knob, he's also going to shoot the Assault Cannon into this big unit. So I'll do the Stormbolter first, hitting on threes. No reward, it's gone too far away. Wounded on fours. Doesn't wound. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I've got 12 shots from the Assault Cannon. Hitting on threes. Wounded on fours. Threes even. It's, it's killing. On it's killing on killing on threes, which turns six. Yeah. We'll get that one it's cocked. So it kills four of them. Pretty much what assault cannons were designed to kill, I think. Probably. It is very thematic, don't you think? We've all seen that intro to um, Dawn of War where the dreadnought comes out in the mist. Yeah, exactly. The assault cannon is just clearing that hill. Off. <laughs> <laughs> get out. Okay. Um, so I think I'll do the this dreadnought next. I don't think it's in range of a reroll. I think he's a little bit too far. So what I'll do is I'll put the twin heavy bolt into that unit, twin auto cannon into that knob. How rude! Indeed. So three hit with the auto cannon. So three hits. Uh, I don't need no threes. Control. One wound at minus one. Killed another one. Uh, this guy. So auto kill cannon. Another one. Five up save. Oh, an auto cannon. Yes. Oh, that's a bit rude. Does kill him. Split. <laughs> And then we've got the uh, twin heavy bolter at the unit of boys. So freeze to hit. My fly. <laughs> Three's to wound. Uh, it's dead. Three dead, yeah, it's minus one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The aggressor doesn't like your war boss. That's nice. So he's going to shoot him. No, he's not. He is. No, he's not. He's not, because he's too close to them. That was silly. <laughs> that was cunning. It was a little bit cunning. So the other thing, I don't think he can actually shoot anything. That's unfortunate. Is it? He can shoot Gabriel in the face with his own gun. He can't. Oh, I missed. Don't mind. All the ones. You, no, nobody believes that because you don't miss. Rerolling hits. No, can't do it. Still <laughs> still Here, okay. Watch me take this six and turn it into a six. Again. <laughs> okay, so I've got the Stormhawk. I've got the Smash Captain who probably can't see anybody to be fair. Uh, so he, the Stormhawk is going to shoot everything out of the truck. He's going to jink. Okay, so I'll do the last Talon first, hit on fours. One hit, wounded on threes. Does not wound. Interesting. I'll do the Sky Hammer, hitting on fives because you're not a flyer. Wounded on threes, which turns seven. Does wound at minus one. So five up. Makes it. And I've got the assault cannon, I've got the first six. Three hits. Close to wound. Three wounds at minus one. No. So he's dead. Yeah. Does he blow up? Whoop. Hooray! I think it's only D3 though, because literally. Well, D3's alright. It could only be one. I'll roll my D3 and we'll I'm check. It's probably a D3, it's about a, it's a rhino size, isn't it? Yeah, five <laughs> so scouts. So it does kill three. We'll double check what we'll it does. We'll double check that, because to be fair. Bulk trucks don't explode, they just fall to pieces. Yeah, this is true. So I'm going to double check the range of this Razorback, because I don't think you can actually can reach these. They might be a little bit too far away, but we'll check. Otherwise, <laughs> that's the end of the shooting phase. In the eye with it. I'm going to flip me in the eye with it. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the end of the shoot, shooting phase. This Razorback's out of range. Well, he's, he can only reach the war boss or the weird boy, but obviously they're characters in that unit there. One, Completely one. forgot about them being there, so never mind. Um, so these guys will probably need a morale at the end. However, we do have the combat, we have the Helverin who's going to fight the Orc boys, so he hits on fours. And he wounds on threes. It's three wounds, so it's three six up saves. T-shirts do not work. Well, they'd work if it just didn't stop <laughs> crushing what was between them. No, indeed. Okay, you get your attacks back. I took those three because they're the ones that are not holding the Helverin in combat. Six. So there's six boys, so that's 12 attacks. Yeah. 12 attacks that hit on threes. This is where orcs really shine. Yeah. Four, miss. five miss, six miss. Six miss, miss. <laughs> seven and miss, Neil. like a good roll, and then I, it wasn't. Five to wound. That's better. Like three wounds. That's, three about, three that's what would have been average anyway. I have to take a wound, I'm down to four. And knob. Power claw. One hit. Well, 
that could have been better. Yeah, it definitely could have. <laughs> Does not wound. Okay. So we got morale checks. So here your morale is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lost three, so on a four. You lose two more. I presume you want to do something like that. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then your morale here. How, yeah. didn't I, how many have you lost? Seven this turn. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So you leash it three. So you need to roll less than a four. Oh look, Neil oh. knows how to roll sixes all of a sudden. Do you want to use a CP? Uh, no. No? No, I need that for other things. So you lose, you leash it four, so you lose another two. Okay, so that is the end of my turn. I do score Big Game Hunter because I've killed a truck. Um, I don't get Emperor's Retribution because I'm not holding an objective that you held. And I don't didn't cause any wounds to your enemy characters. So, um, I'm actually going to get rid of Emperor's Retribution because I don't know if you're going to be doing much objective holding this game. I don't know if there's going to be much of this game left. No, it's looking a bit bleak for the Orcs. There's these guys which are holding the Helbrin down, but these guys are going to be able to intervene next. There's these couple of characters who might do a bit of damage, but there's also a Smash Captain that's kind of flying around as well. He's dead next to her. It could be dead. There's He's probably dead a Smite next that's going to be going off. Might head bang him and all. Maybe. <laughs> well, there you go. So it's the Orcs turn four guys coming up next. Guys, the three cards for the Orcs on turn four are Supremacy, so hold three cards, three objectives. Kingslayer, kill the Warlord, and Mission Critical Objective, roll a d6 and hold that objective, which is that one there. So he rolled six. There weren't much movement though. These two characters have come out to play, and these guys have hidden away. Whilst the Gretchen over there are hiding. And these guys have stayed in combat. But did mean to stay in combat? I was exactly just thinking that. I because... could see, that's why I'm asking the question. Hey. It's got a nice t shirt though, isn't it? Did you make a decision? You're probably going to kill it in combat. If I can kill it in combat, the knob can consolidate up the hill anyway because the tank's closer. Yeah. So I'm going to do it the orky way. I'm going to fight my way to victory. Very good. So that's the end of movement. Let's do the psychic phase. So go straight in. Do you know what you want to do? I know what I'm doing. You're going to cast Smite. I'm going to cast Smite. But yeah, he's going to try and kill a Smash Captain. One of five. <laughs> yeah, so he does take him at least one wound. He in fact takes, takes two. two, so he's dead. Okay. I'm going to cast the one I keep casting, and I can't remember what it's called, on the Warboss to give him the extra attacks. Warpath. Warpath, that's the one. Because yes. if I cast war, if I cast Edbanger, I'd be going to the razor back. Yeah, I'd literally be sticking notes on a big tank. There it does go off on an eight, so he gets an extra attack in combat, which is cool. So they have five attacks rather than four. Yes. Okay, so that's the end of the um, psychic phase. It's the shooting phase coming up. Slugger shot the Helverin in combat and naturally caused the wound. I wasn't going to bother yeah. filming any because orc like, shooting is orc got shooting. Two right? units to shoot. One of was a slugger and one's an advancing warboss. Yeah, so the advancing warboss is going to shoot the aggressor. I mean, I don't think he's going to do anything, but he could kill him knowing Neil's luck off camera. One hit. No, no, he might advance. Typical. As soon as you get the camera out, Neil can't roll any dice. The rest of this game will be behind closed doors. <laughs> yes, indeed. So thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go straight into the charge phase. Yes. Because that's about all you've got left. Yeah. War boss. He's going to charge Gabriel. I think I'm probably in range for a crack grenade. Probably are. Misses. I'll try again. Because I'm a chapter master. Misses. You master your chapter. Charge range. Six inch. You've got to stay more than an inch away. So six inch gets me to there. Yeah, you could probably go there, but you can't go to there because you'll be within an inch of those guys. Can you go this way? That's what I'm thinking. Mm, I don't think you'll be able to Six inches gets me behind the aggressor. Yeah. But I don't think it gets me enough. I'm going to use, here we go. On the two. You probably need a three or a four, I reckon. Oh, don't tell me what I need because that's when I don't roll what I need. <laughs> you roll the five, he's easy. And nine. Straight so around. around the back. Yeah. Um, Don't think the weird boy's in range of a Razorback. He's in range, it's just whether it's a good idea or not. <laughs> that is a very good question, Neil. It's not a good idea. It's one that probably doesn't need to be answered. <laughs> so you got the war boss in combat with Gabriel Angelos. So he has five attacks now because of Warpath. And he hits on threes because he's weapon skill two, but mine's obviously the uh, power claw. I'm going to try to Stroke the fungus. Here. This worked to go first. It's going to work to end. Gabriel Angelos, even though he is going to hit me back if I do kill him. He will hit you back if you do kill him. So, one missed. Yes. 
Which is the extra one, it's from Warpath. So don't worry about it, so it's all hit. Really, really Neil, it's all hit. <laughs> this is twos to wound. It is twos to wound. It's three wounds. I've still got my last command point, which I don't think I used, did I? I don't think so, you might have one. It's funny because you've got all this new codex and you basically just use them for re-rolls, but there you go. I don't know why I bothered doing that, it work. <laughs> Four wounds. Four four up in Vulnerables. You ready, Neil? What do I get to stroke? Well, hey! Cheeky boy. <laughs> so I failed all but one. That's a bit unfortunate. It is a little bit unfortunate. Take three wounds. Take three wounds, I'm down to one. Get crumping. And crumping. So my next unit to attack is going to be the boys. Of course it is, why would it not be? So that's eight attacks. Yes, indeed. Do you want to do the power core first? No. You want to save the power force? Save the power force last. Boys doing the work. Go for it. That's. Meh. Boys doing something. Doing something. Time's to wound. Get them legs, lads. Two oh, wounds. Two legs. Two free ups. Of course, I fail them both. <laughs> That's a one. Right. Typical. Nob's getting his job on. That's it. Chop, chop. Crumping, crumping. Two hits. Twos. No, three, sorry. She's jumped 10, aren't you? Two wounds. Oh, you only got to make them both, Neil. Neil, you only got to make them both. <laughs> it's not funny. That's very unlucky, Neil. Bra. I'm trying to show empathy. Is it working? No. Let me practice one second. Neil, I'm sorry. Attack back with Gabe. Do you know if you roll a six to wound, Neil? You're taking more wound as well as normal damage. If you roll a six, I'm gonna throw a dice into your eyeball. So it's three to hit me rolling ones. Oh, there's no sixes there. I see that warning was well heeded. <laughs> Do it. Ah! ah. What happened there? <laughs> <laughs> that was horrific. See, when I threaten your eyeballs... It's when I tell them that like, they, they don't like the... It was the wrong Emperor I was praying to, because I was like, do it! Like, uh, you know, Emperor Palpatine rather your than... Emperor's false. Just, you know. Emperor Palpatine's not false, he's real. He's in a film. Yes. He's not real. Well, no Emperor's real. Well, I think Hirohito might say something different about that. Maybe. Four attacks into your knobs. Hit on fives now, because I've only got one wound. Oh, roll the six, <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Threes. It's a wound, Neil. The six to five. No. no, it's a dead nork, Neil. Nork? Dead nork. That one? That one. That one. That one. That one actually might be winning three of the objectives, I've just noticed. Uh, possibly, yeah. Because if he is, then at least that's supremacy, just before you absolutely batter my knob. That is probably supremacy at the end of that, because you do hold three objectives. You hold this one, you hold that oh. one, you hold that one with the Gretchen. Gabriel didn't do anything, did he? No. I just thought you've not attacked him yet, but you are. I can attack with him if you want. No, I'd, I'd rather didn't. <laughs> no, wait, not that way. Okay, so I Cards. get supremacy. Yes. I don't get Gabriel Slayer because nope. because because and I don't get mission critical objective because I wagered the chance to kill Warlord. He's basically over. worth two two more two or more points, won't he? Well, he is definitely worth two points as a King Slayer. Mm -hmm. Or I could have risked D three rolling another one for keeping objective six. Yeah, but I get D three for some. You do get supremacy. supremacy. You get D three. You get two. Get two. So how many points are you on now, Neil? Seven. Seven now. Okay, so I think I'm on eight. We'll double check. I always forget. I remember, then I forget. But we'll see. That's it. That's Orcs turn four. Is it a little bit of a mop up phase? Okay. Can the Orcs hold out? Who knows? The might of the Space Marines could falter. Space Marines, turn four, we get no prisoners, so kill a unit. Honor the chapter, kill it. cause wounds with the character and psychological warfare, make you fail the morale. You alright, Neil? I am delightfully fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've basically moved the tactical squad over here so they not can't fill the charge against the Orcs and the flyers move around. This Razorback has drove off the hill, he can't hold that objective anymore because there's the Orc boys there. So I've come round and these two have moved and this one has moved so he can shoot them and these three can shoot him. And that's it. So, shooting phase. We'll do the aggressor into the weird boy. Um, I have measured. 
He's within nine of him. I forgot I moved him forward. Yes, I've also moved the aggressor. So I get D6 shots off the what? top. I know, I've moved the aggressor. I hit some for four, uh, three, he's re-rolling. So all hit. And then falls. Toughness four. Toughness, yes. Yeah, so it's two wounds. Uh, I presume he's got a six up save. It's two wounds. He's not got a three up save. And then the hands. Hit on three, zero rolling. All hit. Wounds on fours. So it'll be three wounds and then one at minus one. Um, so Does it have a six up? So how many? What? Oh, yeah, it's a six. Yeah. Up. So he's taken two. So three normal saves. He's dead. And then he's he takes got, one at minus one. He's only got four wounds, so he's just okay. took like six or seven wounds. He's definitely just taken six wounds. <sighs> okay. And as with that, a massive puff of warp energy comes flying out of him. Exactly. So then we've got this Razorback Eason shooting to the boys here. So we've got Stormbolt to first, hitting on threes, two hits, and then force to wound. It's one wound. Don't worry about the six, so he doesn't do anything. And he takes one. Is that on these, yeah? Yeah. And then we've got 12 shots from the assault cannon into them as well. Force to hit. Not bad. And then uh, threes. So that is one, two, three, four, five dead. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So hmm. one, two, three, four, five dead. Hooray! <laughs> okay. Uh, the Stormhawk can't actually shoot anything because everything's in combat um, or out of range. So the tactical squad is going to charge into the boys. Brave. Hooray, nine. I'll charge into him. And then the aggressor will charge into the war boss thingy. Yeah, he's a war boss. Yeah, he's a war boss. He's not. No, he's not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> the Razorback will charge. Really? No, he's not. Oh, no. No, you're all the fall. <laughs> oh, what is this madness? I was hoping Gabe, I was, as much as I think Gabe will kill him this time, I'm also not very confident. <laughs> so, um, it's the tactical squad to go first. So there are six of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Five um, of them. I think there I was five one. of them. I think I killed one with the knobs. Yeah, so I there's did, uh... four dudes and then the sergeant gets three attacks. And they're hitting on threes. I don't think they're re-rolling. So three hits, four hits. And then falls to wound. One wound, one six up. Nope. Killed one. Okay. And now Gabe will strike. This could hurt. Yes, it could hurt. Three's to hit. It's all hit. Oh dear. It's three's to wound. Oh dear. So that's nine damage. That's a lot of damage. Plus two mortal wounds. So it takes 11, 11 wounds. Does he have an in one? No. Sorry, a little walk. I'll strike against the old boys, hitting on fives. My turn to attack. Of course it is, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Cheat. Of so, course, couldn't show off Mark, because that was my first non-charging unit. Uh, power Claw. Power Claw's going to have to go first, because if the boys kill the Helverin, then the Power Claw can't do anything. No. So, yeah, it's three hits. Two wounds. Two wounds. Can I roll the double six again? Please don't. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we went far away, weren't we? You were asking for that dice in the eyeball. <laughs> do I blow up? Yes! I do! <laughs> Everyone takes D3 mortal wounds, so the Orc boys. Is it only D3 from a Hellfriend? Yeah, it's not D6. Why not? It's, only, it's, only, it's basically just a big tank. What's range on that? Six inches. Well, that's unfortunate. Because that's like to there. Yeah. So the space marines. Like, oh, just out. It's not space close enough take to two. Gabriel. And then the storm talon. Tom Hawk takes two. That's He's down to five. It does. That would have been so good. That would have been quite funny. Gabriel had just died to a lump of pelvin flying past his face. <laughs> have you removed one for the mortal wound? Uh, no, I will take him. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. You have a morale check to take. Um, You've lost uh, quite have, a few. I think they have a leadership as well. I think the leadership's seven. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think because if you do end up with like eight orc on his own, he's not just lead shoot one. Yeah. So I do get another chapter that does score me d3 points because it's a character. So I get two for that. What's your lead ship? Seven. Minus lots. Probably dead. Uh, I killed like five of them with the assault cannons. Yeah, you did. And then another couple with the storm bolter. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know how many we removed this turn. They're probably all dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think they are because you did kill a few. I did kill quite a few of the assault cannons. Uh, which means I get no prisoners and psychological warfare. So I get four points this turn, which puts me on. More. I can't remember. Let's, let's go find out. We're going for the orc counting. So, so that's got... four, five, six, seven, eight, and I got one for that. So nine. Plus first strike and warlord. It's a tough one. You got a, what? You probably got a leadership here because you lost two. So the leadership eight, did you say, or seven? Seven. So you're on a six, you'll lose one. No, you're all good. Okay. Can I just say, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put him back. I know I know it's a bit out of phase, but I'll take my heavy shooter off. Yeah, to pull yourself out of combat. Yeah. Make much There's more sense. For that. Yeah. So we'll quickly do walk turn five. There's not got a lot gonna be a lot happening, but we'll see what we can do. Neil, you picked up defend objective one for your cards, which is that one. Not the other right. ones are Kingslayer still and mission critical objective, which is that one. Okay, no risk. So the old boys have moved here. They have. Progression are hiding behind there. Yeah, they've sort of moved, so you really have to move to find them. Just just so that you can't table me. Yeah. Unless it gets to turn six. Well, it might in turn seven. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so you're gonna try and kill the warlord. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot him with a shooter and a slugger. Can the slugger target him? Do you think he's closer to a tactical marine? Okay, well I'll shoot the slugger at him first then. If you want to be like there, huh? Slugger at the by the rules. Yeah. No. No. Nope. And the slugger. Yeah. No. No. Nope. Cool. Charge phase? Yeah. I'll throw a frag grenade from Gabriel. Five shots. It's on sixes. But I get to try again because I'm a chapter master. One hit. Doesn't wound. And Charge range, get definitely in. in. Get crumping, chaps. Okay. Boy. These. Boy's going first. Boy is going first. Hit on freeze. One hit. Falls to wound. Doesn't wound. Power each claw. Hit on falls. It's two hits. Two hits. One wound. 50 50. 50, 50. Shall I use an SN dice or a Hellstone dice? You decide. Just roll one, two, or three. Roll the five. No, that's not what I asked for. <laughs> so my Thunder Hammer attacks back. All hit. Lucky for twos. So you take two die and then take a mortal wound. They did. They are dead. That's, those guys gone. That was a little bit unlucky. Power Claw probably should have done something there. Only getting one wound through is a bit of a shame. Okay. Mm. That's in your turn five? Yeah. Would you like to discard any cards? Well, at this point, it doesn't really matter. It might do, to be fair. You, yeah. how many, what's your score currently? So I'm on 11. There's only four points behind. Yeah. I know you've only got one unit aggression, but that's quite a close score, to be fair. If the that comes down to the problem of how Maelstrom Eternal War works because if I have one more point than you I win the game where it's not like you've won by one point it's just I win oh, you I know lose that, but it means I've got to have something objective five or later because even hold the line needs three units it does yeah so I'll get rid of uh, defend objective one because I physically can't do it no okay. <laughs> so I'll draw three cards on camera we'll go with death from above uh, kill a unit, the last one of the enemy unit was slain by attack that I can fly or is revived from reinforcements. So I do can cut score that one. Defend objective two, which is that one there. Which again you can do. And then assassinate killer character, which is impossible because you don't have any, so we'll just redraw. Hey, we've got grunts. They're not characters though. Defend objective four, which is that one up there. It's almost like you're trying to pin me in. Almost. So there you go. So turn five of the Space Marines coming up next. Guys, movement for the Space Marines. We just advanced because Neil only has Gretchen left. Mm, easy to hide Gretchen at that. Yes, it is. So I'm going to discard uh, Defend Objective 4. I don't think I've got enough turns to do it now. Would you like to see if the game carries on on the 3 up? Can I roll all those dice to see if the game carries on? Would you like the game to carry on? No. Okay. 
So you can roll that dice, and then you can concede if it carries on, if you like. Or I could just roll a one or a two. You could do. I mean, you still do. lose. You're doing great. So go for it, Neil. You roll the four. I give up. Good game, my friend. Good game. Good game. Basically, what's going to happen is Neil's going to hide there. I'm going to drive to there. He's going to drive to there, and they're just going to get gunned down. So, and then the flyer will also fly over there like that because it has the movement. Yeah, even when he's bracketed, he can still move that far. Just yeah, it moves 20 to 40, so it's pretty horrific. But there you go, so that was Orcs versus Space Marines. Mm. An interesting turn of events. Mm. That was more, probably more Neil's dice versus Mikey's dice. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> that's, maybe that's so. But the Forge, the Industrial, Forgotten Sorry. Wasteland has been taken back by the Imperium from the Fungi Menace. The Xenos gone. But as we know, orcs can never lose. We'll just be back. It's very true. As soon as you kill them, they're just in the air again. Yeah. So there you go. So we're gonna have a little bit of chat, guys. If if you I don't noticed through analytics, a lot of people actually tune out now. They don't like the outro chat. So thank you very much for watching. Sorry, for those. too serious at the end. <laughs> there you go. So have a quick <laughs> chat about it now. So guys, so there we have it. Seventeen fifty points of new orcs. This is old marines. Mm. And we've said it already, but I will fess up. My dice were absolutely horrific all game. Yeah, I mean, that was still a decent game. It looked very bleak that mm. turn two. But turn, yeah. turn three and turn four were actually really fun. Yeah, they were good. They were really good because you, you got in my face. That was the point. It was turn one, turn two, when I could just sit and just wait for you and just keep throwing bullets at you and I'm throwing that yeah. many bullets at you that I was only coming in a couple of units at a time and you could just deal with it but this yeah. this thing I absolutely love it is so cool and it did so much damage to that Redemptor that was so fun that was so awesome but I think with the Orcs you've got to be really really aggressive the, the thing is they die in droves yeah. when there's that many of them on your fa in your face you can't deal with it and especially when you start touching uh, what, we, what we refer to as touching units where you're charge one unit and then you pile into another like Razorbacks and stuff so yeah. they can't shoot especially um, those that don't have power fists attached to their bolt guns yeah exactly um, yeah I think I think realistically we kind of didn't want to run lots and lots and lots of boys because it is super strong <coughs> yeah. but it also takes a long time to play and we want to make sure we get this battle report out for people to watch on release day hopefully if we've done this <laughs> right this is release day this is Saturday hello everybody mm. um, if not it's Sunday worst comes to worst yeah, we um, still be, if we if we were doing the green tide that we could easily do, we'd still be playing until next week. We'd still be playing until yeah. the next edition of Forty K probably. Yeah, exactly. So like, we will do a green tide game because we do have enough models to do a real green tide. Oh yeah, between with storm boys backing them up. Well, storm boys, looters, burners, flash gips. Yeah, just we've we've probably got. 150 boys just in troops yeah so we can do a green tide we're going to arrange a full day to do that where i don't have to edit it on the same day yeah realistically <laughs> yeah. so um but yeah i think i think with my with my list against you obviously it is space marines it is they are the worst codex i'd probably say orcs are a stronger codex however i just i've just got a castle yeah orcs it's are back strong. to it's back to being ultramarines which is just it's strong because you've yeah. got lots of bodies and I've got lots of bullets. I think what a lot of it we discussed off camera was it's a strong codex. The old codex is very strong, mm -hmm. but we've literally picked it up from the shop, come back and playing. Yeah. Uh, I've had other than internet rumors to learn what's happening. Mm -hmm. I've had like five minutes to read the codex and build an army. <clears throat> and then learn how it works. Yeah. So, so, so GW, anyone works at GW if you're watching, hook a brother up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Space Marines, they're okay. They are overcosted, but this, they're, as you said, it's an elite army. There's lots of quality firepower. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I think maybe if you had that jump, you kind of didn't want to bring that jump, did you? You didn't want the to jump, go for the typical. The jump, well, no, it wasn't that. The jump has to go with basically a few mobs of 30 boys. Mm. And again, with time, we just, we didn't have time to be basically putting thirty boys down, picking them up, putting thirty boys over there. Yeah, and it's next time. Next time, when next we've got time. time, we will give yeah. you a treat. Mm. But so, yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you mm. we appreciate you coming in, tuning into this battle report. Hopefully, with it being a new codex, we imagine there'll probably be lots of new people. So do consider liking and subscribing the channel because um, we do post battle reports every week. We do. 
sometimes even two because we do also have Hellstorm Premium on hellstormwargaming.co.uk where we post even more battle reports yeah, for a small... I I occasionally roll nice dice as well. Yeah, for a small monthly fee. <laughs> uh, we'll also be having Orcs on the channel again, but they will be on the site for this next one. We'll be having Billy on. I don't know how the timing's going to work. We're filming in three days, but this might not be out for like two weeks. So, um, yeah, so if you want to see Orcs again, they will be on the website and we'll probably do another free one where we do Green Tide. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a real, a real Tide. These are definitely coming back. But, yeah, it's really nice that we got a brand new army. We've just been saving it for the Codex. So because he didn't want to bring them out in index can kind of like ruin the magic as it were yeah which you wanted me to ruin the magic for you on camera nah i can't beat orcs <laughs> there you go so guys thank you very much for watching we do hope you enjoyed we've been hellstone wargaming you guys have been fantastic and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one see you later guys <laughs>